Patrice O'Neal. What's happening here? What's happening? We're a little tired uh, from last know. night, but we're uh, he's how did, out, how we're did doing it go? It. He's thought it just a bit, sweetie. It went well, but I don't even want to talk okay. about that. You had a great opening line when you opened that studio door, and I want you to, to reenact it. Oh, the, when I came in? Yeah. I, I'll, tr- I'll try to go I know, and, and I to know. Stanislavski method, motherfucker. Well, well, I'm not happen. a method guy. I come out of the well, bathroom. What's a there's a pubic hair on the urinal. <laughs> yeah. On the urinal, and I'm looking at it going, I never understood urin- pubic hairs on the urinal. Like, it's, does this mean somebody's fucking pubic hair falling yeah. out while you're pissing? <laughs> like, why is that there? It fell out? Yeah, how fucking? does it just fall out? It just fell. It's just a pubic hair there. You seem like you got to really tug those things to get them to come out. But but most guys zip their zipper down, their dick comes out. Pubes are behind. Like, there's another layer of clothing that the pubes are <laughs> Holding behind. Holding the pubes in. So you zip your zip, and then you pull your dick out, there's a hair ready to pop right out of that <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> on the edge of the fucking toilet. That shit is gross. It and really I just thought disgusting. of it while I was standing there tired. Because you, when you're tired, you just be like... What? Stop pondering things. Like you just accept it every other time in your life, but you just go, "Why is there fucking a hair yeah, what right the here?" Fuck is that? What? Disgusting motherfuckers! I don't get it. What are you looking at? Oh, I don't know. Well, anyway, how you guys doing, know. man? Good. How you guys doing? Good, good to see you. Really good. Yeah, good, good to see you. It is. Yeah, I, mean, you, I mean, I don't take you guys for granted. And I, I never thought your, you did. I don't. I like seeing you guys. I do. I don't get to see you. We call ourselves friends, but. We don't see each other ever. We tried we're, again, Patrice. but it's almost a great. That's almost look. I'm I'm not look. I'm not blaming you. Did we have a good lunch? No, I'm not blaming you. Hey, that was a fantastic. We had lunch. a great lunch, and we're like, you know what? We got to do this more often. Why, why aren't we friends? But then you tweeted our lunch. I, I'd really like. Why are you tweet oh, our the, lunch? The, the the lunch became a fucking yeah. Tweet. Like we, I said, we, me and Obi are having a moment because some guy yeah because you know a couple Wait of a kids was recognizing me in the street. Couple, look at this fucking <laughs> sick piece of shit. Norton swine flu <laughs> pandemic. This Wait. bitch got fucking all kind of medicine he's putting in his nose. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. I'm a bit under the weather. How about having no. some empathy for your friend and going, no, hey, you feel I'm better, not. Jimbo? Jimmy, when did I'm that not. happen? Jimbo. What? You weren't sick yesterday. I've been sick for a week. No. I just don't complain about he it. He has no defenses. Oh. I've been sick for a week. How can a guy that... That's the, you have no... And, My immune system fucking rules. I never get sick. You're missing yeah. the uh, upper layer of your skin, and you got these girls <laughs> shitting on your chest, and you know that's just seeping right through your skin. You have no... I don't appreciate you attacking my upper epidermis. <laughs> I happen to have fine skin. You need to wear a bulletproof vest just to have the proper amount of skin protection. You fucking little worm. Stop Patrice. it. I'm very healthy. Let's get back to the Patrice story. Now, a Patrice, very good immune system. First of all, you're downplaying it. This motherfucker got recognized every 10 feet. It was really? ridiculous. So the guy in Sabaro offered us free food. And I go, well, yeah, come on, man. We mean, Ope had a nice, delicious little. They made us up some special stuff. The, the, the Mexicans that were making the Italian food didn't want to. <laughs> they didn't want to make us up something special. But the girl came over because the guy. Uh, bippity bippity boop, bippity bippity boop. But that guy disappeared. <laughs> Family guy. Bippity 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 bippity. And he gave us some free food and this and that, and, and we enjoyed it, man. Had it sat down and. Dude, I told you I was tweeting that fucking picture. I don't care. All right. But, but uh, Patricia's but the, like Mo Green. Go on into Sabaros. You get what you want. <laughs> the dancers will kick your tongue out. No. You can have pepperoni sausage. <laughs> What he's not, what he's not Draw ex- slices for everybody. Yeah. In the room. What he's not explaining uh, properly, the guy that said, come on in and eat whatever the fuck you want, disappeared. So now we're trying to explain to the other oh, people there. Like, like 20 we're minutes, much. we're like, no, <laughs> you know, the guy, and then we're trying to explain what he looks like, oh, and everyone's damn. like, who's, it might have been just another guy from the street. And it was just some young girl that knew, because he told her. Finally, uh, but was, I think his brother, he was just waiting to see if we were stealing and then it's like, you know, but but I, we had a great time. And you twitted. And I'm like, what are you f- <laughs> doing? Yeah, you know what? Twitting. And then now. You joined the Twitter mm-hmm. universe, motherfucker. That's right. Well, right. I'll be leaving Mr. soon. Soon as <laughs> Mr. I'm, I don't want to be on the grid anymore. He's back on the grid. I'll yep. be leaving soon. Soon as the pylons start working. I'm leaving this <laughs> this universe, motherfucker. I already know it because I'm tweeting mean shit already. Oh, yeah. Some fucker that knows me is tweeting me. This kid's just like, hey, man, you going to do my show? I'm like, don't you have my number, nigga? Like, <laughs> yeah, why? Why are you tweet? not personally? Because he wants you texting t- me, fuckface. He wants your Twitter t- tweets to show up on his Twitter account, so people think you're better friends than you are. That's true. I, don't, I barely like him. That's exactly. He probably knows <laughs> that too. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, twitting you're, during the game. You're twitting Kareem. I tweeted him something. He says something about the, the, the magic. What do you think? And I go, I, the magic gonna fall like your hairline. <laughs> Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, my God. Twitch Shack. 
Kobe's, you're going to be wondering how Kobe's ass tastes after this. <laughs> fug face. Because I got to put F U G G. Fug. Why fug? Because you, you can't, can't really swear. Fun. You can't you swear. You can swear. You can. You can't be, you got to be nice on Twitter. No, you don't. Everybody's <laughs> twitting. I fell down on the treadmill. What do you, hey yeah, guys? A lot of that stuff. I, just, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't Twitter a lot. I don't if either. I, and if I Twitter, it has to be accompanied by a picture. Because that's the only time that's, I want to And it Twitter. means something. Right. I'm hopefully get a picture with Hammer and, and twit it. This is me oh, and I Hammer. Hope. No, but yeah. you, you can take like, sometimes a twit without a picture. If you just have a comment to make, is okay, oh, yeah. too. No. Well, well no. I will, I will excuse Jimmy Norton from the needing a picture thing. Because Jimmy is very funny. And I, I read his twits, his tweets, whatever the fuck you want to call them. And they are very funny. Thank you. He could just throw a line out there. And it's funny because it's Jimmy. But some of them are just inane, unfucking. You, I don't need to know this. I don't need to know you're doing this right now. I, too, I did tweet a picture recently, though, which is a, a, a very... I took a photo and I tweeted it. Oh, yeah? My photo of my friend Patrice. Oh, okay. But, I, see... <laughs> so look, I yeah. understand... I, I'm a fan of a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, family Guy, for one. So when Family Guy d doesn't have new shows, I'm like, where the fuck are the new shows? With these <laughs> cocksuckers, I need my Family Guy. Right. I guess my self-esteem is not where a place where I go, people need Patrice O'Neill shit. I'm trying to get oh, to that level where I go, okay, I'm, I'm, looking, I'm trying to look at myself like other people. I might look at other people where I go, I got to get my right. this fix. My, my uh, uh, what's the, 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 the sports show um, with Tony uh, Kornheiser? You, you don't watch it. The, uh, nah. Pardon Interruption. But I need my pardon interruption every day. And Mike Wilbon and everybody got a call. Everybody the got the fucking H one N one in this bitch, man. Holy shit! You know that's a pandemic. You sick ass motherfucker. Yeah. Okay, my immune system. You know black people can't, can't deal with these white viruses. Dude, we were, <laughs> niggas just sneezing swine flu <laughs> we everywhere. You right. dirty motherfucker. I'll tell you what happened. We were sharing desserts last night. Stinking ass oh, bastards that must just have been it. We were just <laughs> snorting up. We were just passing desserts around. I didn't care. Taking oh. a bite. You I know was you motherfuckers sick. are carriers. <laughs> we're the worst. You know all the vaccines you give black people while. Fucking immune system's almost gone. <laughs> I need a Leave us alone, so man. The Give him a tissue. Give throw that oh, shit to God him. God damn it. Get that motherfucker some you. Buckley's or something. I love Sick Buckley's. Bastards. I, I, uh, I think I'm gonna have a stroke. I, I said baskets. Uh-oh. Oh. I'm finished. <laughs> I, started, I started eating brown rice too late in my life. <laughs> how's, your, how's your veganism? <laughs> oh, it's good, man. Except for now. I fucking got. Uh, uh, I convinced myself to eat fish, but I, I'm getting back out of it. I just. All right. What's wrong with fish? Uh, they they cry. They do. They hurt. They don't hurt. Fish do. Even though God bless God for creating them anyway, because <laughs> there's nothing to make you feel bad for. Them. No, they like don't lobsters. Look. You do boil them live, but yeah. they can't scream. There's no. nothing worse than an animal that can't scream or blink. <laughs> If you can't blink or make or or make a sad eyebrow face, yeah, you need eyebrows to look sad. Or it, at least God should have made those claws be able to make a pray hand, like where it <laughs> where looks he at you together and just prays, and that like, black eye that's sticking up that doesn't that's just a, a globe on the stems, <laughs> and it just <laughs> please don't eat me. <laughs> those black eyes on the little cherry stems. <laughs> they, they, I think, I, I think, like all these books I'm reading about this veganism shit. They have the the least reasons that like they the the fish has the weakest argument, yeah. Because fish is only mainly because of mercury and all the stuff in the water. Yeah, you can't really get on the whole thing like fish suffer, even though they do. But if you poke a fish, you can cut a fish live. And it's doing the same exact thing as it's doing. <laughs> when it's not God it damn it. Like, if I cut you, you'll scream like a monkey. Right, but right. if I start cutting you and you just was staring at me like... Yeah, you're not going to continue... A fish will flop around, though. You're not going to continue... Yeah, they'll flop around if you just fucking... Yeah. You're not going to continue with your iPhone, is what you're saying. Yeah, like... Everything it, changes. Yeah, but not with a fish. A fish, you just... <laughs> your logic is better than... Just you just anyone. chop that head off. And the body, it's just, it's just not an animal Even that you give a just, fuck about. Yeah. The head will continue breathing for a little bit. Yeah, they'll pop. It'll still be pop. doing that. The play. organs will, will move and pop. shit. And they're yeah. just not a, they're just not a, um, a creature you feel bad for. Yeah. So, but I start reading about that shit. I'm, I'm trying to stay, uh, you know, I mean, the white, the brown rice is now my thing. I have to 
fight with brown rice tastes like i i've never tasted wood or shit <laughs> but i know brown rice <laughs> wood and shit must taste like brown <laughs> brown rice you have to make it unhealthy to enjoy it yeah like you have to put beef gravy on brown rice or some type of gravy Just on brown rice i don't understand why shit's got to taste like shit like why why stuff that Thank is really you. bad for you why can't asparagus really taste good. like a lobster? Right. Oh, or a steak. Or a fucking cake. That, it's unbelievable, man. You got to think Only scientists are working on that. Only shit bad for you. Yeah. You got to think scientists are working they on that, They have been for years. That's they, why they, they come they out did with it. changing low your fat taste bud. stuff. No, I mean changing it, your taste like bud somehow. Monosodium so, uh, glutamate. What? Mono, so what? Mo MSG. Yeah. Is, the, right. is what it was. That's what it okay. was there for. But they but it kills you. So everything kills you. Yeah. It's a... And, and and everything that's really fucking bad for you is great. Yep. It tastes good. Fucking smoking feels good. Things just like... I went to P.F. Chang's and had a... Um, Ooh. P.F. Uh, Chang's. Fucking nice. A lava. Good. Some lava. <laughs> lava cake? Lava cake. The chocolate lava uh, Not the lava cake. No, oh, it's a chocolate. Shit, dude, man. What are you crazy? It was a brick. How was and, it? Um, Don't you have the diabetes? Shot. Yeah, and and I just kind of just said fuck it. And you know what I ate? <laughs> I ate the the top layer of icing. Like I peeled it off, and it came off oh. perfectly, like like bread. Like picking and it was a scab. Just, it was That's just right. yes, nice, right? like, it was just yeah. intact, hard icing. And I and I took a little bit, and then I I it, it, I washed it down with a. Some blackberry, unsweetened blackberry uh, iced tea that they made back there. wash this down. Wash that shit down. And it was just Heavy. delicious. And I had some tofu. Damn. Tastes like ass. <laughs> ass cheek. He's and right. some fucking broccoli. No I'm, so I'm so sick of broccoli. I'm so sick of broccoli. And I'm so sick. And so I eat a lot of fake, like, Boca burgers. and it, it, Those are okay if you cook them. If you, I like a Boca burger well done. What is that? It's like, it's like a meatless burger. It's delicious. Vegetarian burger. What are the, cheese bur the cheeseburgers if you put some, some ketchup and mustard on Some vegetarian burgers are good. good. Yeah. Bo some. Boca burgers are, del are delicious, man. But, you know, I'm just, it's, it's just trying to stay right. I think I just chose too late, man. Yeah. Do you spray on your butter? No. So. I use this stuff called Earth Balance, but I probably use more than on. health. Yeah, like you know, healthy shit. You, I think I use like it's, I eat six oranges. <laughs> uh, yeah, I ultra. I ate a half a watermelon the other day. Yeah, just really? a half. And I and I'm very meticulous. I eat my watermelon. I eat it out. I half it up, eat it right, and I scraped it. And then I and then I keep the juices at the bottom. Oh yeah, yeah. Just, you make a little bowl a big, out of it. A big cup of giant watermelon juice. <laughs> I, I embarrass. I embarrass black people. If you see me eat watermelon while I'm alone, like here if I order something, it's all chopped up. If you see me eating watermelon, it should come with big eyes. It should come with D.W. Like Griffin should be in there just just going, mm, 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 and they mad at me for what? It looks like a fucking 1920s poster for watermelons. I'm telling you, I'm a complete pickaninny when I'm eating. I am a fucking dirty slave when I'm eating watermelon. I'm just, you, it's it's that water that watermelon sound. It just, that sound. Of, and it's all on my shirt. I'm, I'm telling you, it's hard if you Holy see me eat watermelon shit. by myself. <laughs> that video would do real well if Al you want to shoot I, it. Fuck <laughs> you. you. Shoot Al Sharpton would fucking remove me from the annals. Obama would call me. Yeah. Nigga, what you doing? What's up? I'm like, man, it's just delicious. Yeah, what are you doing? You You're brought fucking... us back. I'm, I'm president. What the fuck are you I've doing? I've been thinking about sometimes I was sitting there and it, it'll be resting on my stomach, the watermelon. And I'd be thinking about how bad is the rind? Like, can you? Is it really poison? Eat it? That's what I heard. But I just want to take a bite out of that it's fucking like, green rind. You get too close, it tastes like cucumber. <laughs> what? It's not even that good. It's That's, not filling. I, what I, is I, it? Watermelon's not even that good. Oh, I never is, liked watermelon. It's the best. greatest no. fruit ever. I love it. How it's average. Average. It's fucking. Not it's not the only in my fruit. Top ten. You rub no, your hands straight. like this, like ah. Uh, I rub. I rub them together and go. Oh, I'm gonna. Shit. This is a good looking watermelon. How about we don't look up watermelon but pictures see, this on is, the internet? This while is, this, is here. But this Sambo thing, right? This whole Sambo thing and it's shit. Sambo I don't. Brand I don't watermelon. like how a delicious fruit has become the moniker <laughs> of racism against. I don't give a fuck. 
Because the best way to eat it is just like a slave. I don't give a fuck. Or, or not like a slave, because I bet you fucking slaves, because we don't know. I guarantee slaves ate watermelon with with some class. Like dainty a little. A but little the, dainty. I bet you, the, you know, the slave master just came and put that fork and knife down, nigga. <laughs> and, he, and they take pieces and they go, shove it in your face quick, nigga. It probably, every bad eating habit we have is from slavery. Because you get a 15 second break and they give you watermelon. Ready, nigga? Eat those, eat the, eat those pigs, the pig's feet. Here's what we going to do. <laughs> you've, you, you, you've seen the Petey Green uh, video oh, by now. Petey Green. It, Hold on. Let God me pop bless this him. Up. Pop God this bless up. Petey yeah, Green. Yeah. This is the greatest video ever. Petey Green's Think great. Think twice before you answer. Yeah. Think twice before you say yes. He shows you how to eat a you know, watermelon. I know y'all saying yes and that. Look at this fool. Got this watermelon here. The reason why I said think twice is because... <laughs> Give him a laugh. Give him a laugh, y'all. <laughs> He's got newspapers. The reason why I say think twice is because I just can't understand how we as black people start eating watermelon in the closet. In the closet. In the closet, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lord have mercy. He's <laughs> <laughs> called the heart. Lord have mercy. <laughs> you know, it makes me feel so bad sometimes when I'm, I see black my black brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. and they'll see me eating a piece of watermelon like this, yeah. And they'll go, when they'll go to frown their faces, I mean, that's despicable. But it's good. And you know the thing that makes me mad? When I go to their parties, they will take a big, pretty watermelon like this and cut all kinds of gadgets. <laughs> and, the little and balls and shit. Cut the inside. You see this good piece of watermelon here? Cut all the gut out that good watermelon and mix it up and mess it up with something else, man. Sometimes they got a Salt. notion to put liquor in it. And then after they cut them little crevices in it, then put it back inside of that hood. Man, that's a waste of watermelon when all you got to do with it is pick it up like this. Look here. Pick it up like this. <laughs> God bless that motherfucker, man. I don't mess it up. I whack my eyes up. Lay back. That's what you want now. And I don't care if you're a PhD, if you're a well, You can't tell me cutting all that out, putting it back in there. Hello. Yeah, <laughs> sitting in here. Now, I know you're sitting home. That's a nigga. nigga. But this is a sweet watermelon. <laughs> I ain't gonna waste no time cutting no watermelon up and mix it up with no fruit cocktail. All I'm saying to you, be yourself, because I went to a party of night with some white folks. They didn't have it in that thing there. They had slices. Walk around, Peter Green, you want a slice? I said, yeah, give me a slice. And one lady said, I don't think, I didn't think you blacks eat watermelon like that no more. I said, look, lady, don't try to get out on me, you understand? You just want to eat the good part and want me to cut it all up and do it. And then, you know, I was mad with niggas for putting salt on the watermelon. So two Obamas. I was talking to two cold-blooded cousins. Fuck you don't put salt on and, uh, watermelon. Said, Why y'all put salt on the watermelon? Niggas were a man in my home and said, you know, I'm down that bottom in Virginia. So let me tell you about salt, Pia. Say, you Washington niggas puts too much salt on. Say, you just, I watch you, you, y'all. Them niggas dump salt on. Say, you put a twang of salt on a sweet melon and it... It, it, and it brings out, like, accent. I said, what you say? He said, man, I love watching you watching people. Y'all dumb soul doing it like you got chicken. <laughs> <laughs> he said, what you Twang it. I never knew that. This guy's fantastic. But I just want to set you here this evening. You ever seen the movie and Talk to Me? Know. I did. Oh. With, with Don, Don Cheadle playing him? Is that who that is? Yeah. yeah. The radio yeah. guy? Yeah. yeah. Peter Green. Yeah. The radio yeah. guy. Oh, shit, yeah. 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 The, the movie was great. Cheadle was great in that movie. Yeah. Oh. You know, y'all niggas put two sticks. Yeah. Don't do that. You get one of them big roast nears, saturated with some butter, and hit that. Be yourself. And always remember that I got it off the vine. It's sweet like honey, and I'll plug it all the time. Say back, y'all. <laughs> I know you see this nigga's good and crazy. Hold it for I tell y'all just. Uh. I'm telling you, dude. That shit is. I'm just the color in the towel room. I can't understand what he says when he's have a slice of water, bro. It's the, <laughs> it's the closest thing to meat, man. It's the closest thing to meat. I don't even like watermelon that much. It's, that it's, is, I get it's, a couple it's bites. It's the closest right. thing best. to fucking meat that, of a fruit that I don't. Uh, I don't you don't like look it. forward to any other fruit that like a watermelon. Is, I don't like it at all.
Petey Green. No, thank you. Thank I, you. I mean, Petey Green. It's just like no other fruit. Maybe, um, <laughs> oh, man. Maybe a pineapple if you feel in the mood. Pineapple, pineapple. is a little, ooh. It, but if if you're in the hurts. mood, if, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's like fucking funny. <laughs> it, that's what you have to be in the mood for pineapple. Yeah, yeah. But no other fruit uh, make blueberries stink. Blueberries rule. They blueberry, so blueberries, like blueberries. You know what blueberries yeah. are it's a for? Superfood. Being healthy. Yeah. Any, you know, yeah. it's just it's Try a blueberry. awful. I, I no, eat blueberries, they're but they they gotta be a move. They don't taste like fucking sweet fruit. Yeah, they're, they're not they're delicious. Put a lot of You know what sucks, dick? Fucking grapefruit. I, it's it. a, it's I don't get bitter, grapefruit either. It's a bitter orange. orange. I like it a lot. Get me a bitter, unsweet fucking You're orange. You're eating the wrong grapefruits. No. Yeah. Everyone says the that. The ruby red, the Texas no. ruby red grapefruits. No. God damn it. Bitter, bitter, I can do a pity green bitter. video on the grapefruit. You like grapefruit? Bitter. Love the grapefruit. <laughs> you, know, you can't love it. Not, it's, not it's, the, it's for health. You know, no, not the regular one. The, the fucking ruby red. Jesus. There's a few different versions of the ruby I'm telling you. Get E-Rock in here. He turned me on to some Texas grapefruit. That's all I think about That's now. That's what y'all yeah. do. Y'all just if you if I brought you in a Texas our grapefruit, minds, man. Yeah. Can I, I gotta, you like it? It's very sweet. Eh? Very I can't sweet. eat watermelon the way no. I want to. Right. <clears throat> can't eat watermelon or, or chicken. Chicken is our thing. Enjoy chicken. It's like everybody will just hey, go. Oh, yeah, murdering, right, right. murdering women look, is our thing. All that. of a sudden, killing white women yeah. is ours. <laughs> 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 but it's really yours. Listen, listen, listen. We're gonna take a break because we got to catch up a little. Patrice all is right. here. I want to get a little info out though. Patrice is playing comics tonight and tomorrow. Dude, I went to the last time you were at comics. That room is fucking perfect for you. I enjoy comics, man. Fucking, it's a great room, and and your fans are are a little different than ours. We have a, I think we share some we audience. We have, we have. Here's what I like about you guys having me on the show for years. There are, at first, it was just all O and A. Uh, like they would come uh, to the show and yeah. be like, Bleh. yeah. But for over the years, man, you the guys that come on, like the Vosses, the Mees, and the fucking Bobbies and everybody, Bill, everybody has their guys, their fans from this show that I'm going to see Patrice because I know what he does and I know what Bobby sure. does. No more all coming, which I don't fucking mind. No, no, no. I just don't mind yeah, that yeah. shit. And it, but I, you get the ones that like you coming. I, I love that. So it's it's it's. My fans from other shit, like the, the the new fans that probably are most disappointed are the, are the ones from the office that saw me on a few episodes of them, mm-hmm. um, and a lot of my web junk fans. I, I ran them out of town too, so it's a lot of <laughs> a lot of tough crowd, a lot of H, a lot of just regular stand up, and then a lot of O and A come to my show. You shows. should see it's all the young shows, yeah. young kids that know Patrice O'Neill from that web junk. Uh, when we were walking around after the last time you were on, and we went and did the lunch, it was unbelievable. Yeah, just young young white kids young from, white kids from, from hey, all man. over the country. Hey, how Freaking, you? freaking out. And they used to come to the shows when it first was on, be like 17 t- white teenagers, and I just go, you know, <laughs> you know a rape is in your future. <laughs> and it's just like, <gasps> and it go, just get them out of there. And you're a rock star in the black community, because after the show, it was just like, I mean, most of the audience when I went was black. That's what I'm getting uh, and, at. And here's what I'm trying I'm to tell you guys to stop not fucking listeners. around, man. A lot of black people love O&A. You guys yeah. just don't care. That's not true. Really stop. You Stop it. Stop what? Stop looking at sites like Nigger Mania. Oh, shit. Look at it. He Look, posts. He's an admin. I, first of all. Don't I, go on Nigger Mania. I, oh. When there's black people that fucking love. Yeah. Here's what they ask. Black people ask anytime I go somewhere. Where do you think we just is, got the Petey Green is video Anthony, from? <laughs> is Anthony really? I go, yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but it's charm. He's not Thank nigger you. mania racist. No, no, I'm not. That's just it. He's just, he's, but I have a black friend racist. You don't think I have to look at that end of the spectrum to appreciate the other end of the spectrum? What's the Which, other end? The other end of the spectrum is there are black militant sites that I go on also that, uh, that uh, are amazing. Which comes first, the chicken or the racist. egg? It's like, it's, I'm not saying that black people should be having those sites. Well, mm. mostly those sites are, they're, they're crawling up. Mm-hmm. As opposed to looking down, if that makes sense, it's almost like you don't have any sites that go, you know, that go like this, like shoe white people, like that marginalize right white people. It's more like oppressor. Now, not an excuse, but I'm saying mm-hmm. white sites are just ridiculous with their horseshit. Even though there's one part of it where I'll be fair, there's two things I've seen racist wise that was I had to go fuck. One was 
a guy made a, a YouTube video and they go, oh, yeah, nigga, <laughs> all all serial killers are white. And this son of a bitch oh. made about a 10 minute video on black serial killers. Oh, shit. And to be a fair motherfucker, I go, well, motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> there are nigga serial killers like Amazing. straight up. Throwing a bitch in a dumpster, <laughs> yeah. not not just like shooting up outside of a club, uh-huh. but hunting bitches and killing them. We only know that the one. Randomly just killing. Dude, it's, we only know they the one. kept showing. Yeah. It, it was so I had to appreciate this guy's tenacity right. of his racism, and the other That's thing killing. he did, or not him, but uh, nigga Manny when I was looking at it. It dispels all the black inventors. I had I couldn't <laughs> yeah, yeah, stop laughing at the fact that he would not give niggas the stoplight. Like he wouldn't, <laughs> he wouldn't give us the stoplight. He's like, oh Benjamin Banneker, oh yeah. Well, here's what happened. Here's what really happened. <laughs> Peanut butter, suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Charles Drew was Puerto Rican. Like he, he would not give us one invention. Oh shit! Not one. Not a one. He dispelled them all, which make you have to go somewhere and actually do research. Look at yeah. all the black serial killers. It's a lot of black serial killers. Oh, there was man. one guy in Virginia named killer. Timothy Spencer. He was a black uh, serial killer, and he crossed racial lines, which most of them don't do. Most oh. serial killers kill within their own race. He actually killed one. Well, I had that to... cross-eyed motherfucker over there on the right. Yeah, that guy. God, yeah, that damn damn is, a, I mean, some of these dudes. Some of these dudes uh, did some white guy shit. Nobody did did more uh, than uh, uh, BTK or the Green River Killer yeah, yeah. or or or, he, or Henry to, uh, uh, Henry Lee Lucas or Otis Two. White people are prolific with that shit. Yeah. But there's some guys that's in the same realm like that because you just go but black people don't serial kill but there was a you few know, you know what i want to watch and and it's pretty much the, the website is is the only place to watch it i like watching surveillance camera footage from convenience stores and and, and it's fun to watch it i just it, like I, I don't scare me actually no. to be honest they just yeah. that the randomness of that that's fucking, what it is it's like a tv show only it's real six six elderly women like that's serial killer White all, oh. all black serial killers. I had oh, no damn. idea until today. Invaded the home of five white teenagers, beat, raped, robbed, and killed. Now that's an them. incident. See that motherfucker. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a no, serial killer. That's Texas five, Chainsaw uh, Massacre right raped there. Raped and killed thirteen women in L.A. That, that's a, that's Chester, just a Chester serial killer. Chester Turner serial killer. Wayne yes. Williams, of course. Yes. Yeah, that's the only one I remember. Damn. The, and it, and nice oh. fart. <laughs> all right, how about Shelly Brooks? Over six years. Uh, killed seven prostitutes over a period of six yeah. years. Yes. Serial serial killer. Because the BTK only killed seven people. Yeah. Really. Or, eight, or what, eight? Very few. Oh, but. Oh, there oh here's the cross eyed guy. Muhammad, Muhammad Omar confessed to the rape and killings of 16 <sighs> women in Yemen. That's a fucking I think it's not killer. even illegal over there. <laughs> in Yemen? Oh, that's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> that's like, he, we got to check Yemen's laws. No, he, was <laughs> running for, he was running for office, and that was his campaign <laughs> platform. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that's terrible. Oh, shit. All right, let's try Henry Lewis. Henry Lewis Wallace, Wallace. raped and killed nine women in Charlotte. Yeah, that's serial a, killer. Serial that's killer. a serial killer, serial man. Killer. Absolutely. That's a serial killer. Yeah. It, it, I, I mean, and, and oh, oh, holy oh. shit. Wayne Williams, 23. That's Wayne Williams. That's yeah. the one we know. 23 young but, boys. But that's the Wayne only one Williams I knew is not today. official, though. Still to this day, right. people are There's like, doubts that it was Wayne him. Williams is not it's him. Yeah. What about Terry about Blair? Fiber and everything is him. Six women? And then you have to get the circumstances too. Yeah. Now, would you consider Richard Speck a serial killer? A mass murderer, I think. He's a he's mm. he killed those women at one time. Mass murder. That's mass murder, then. I mean, Ted Bundy is prolific, also, and I think oh, you have to, it has Ted to be Bundy over. Is, he's prolific. Like yeah, the best yeah. ones are white. Yeah, yeah. But, pro, but there's some motherfuckers. Sixteen, twelve, strangled, twelve, strangled, twelve. Lorenzo Gilliard. That is a serial killer. I don't understand why it's, it's perceived that black people ain't serial killers. Like, that, that our shit. But I think that makes you seem smarter. Let, that, let's, let's, I think wow, that, look at I how think, you spun that shit I around. Think, I think being a serial killer makes you... Do you, do you know how disappointed so people like were? So promoting... Uh, the yeah. intelligence of a serial say, killer. The sniper, right? The, the sniper. DC sniper. And I used to do a joke about it. It's like when we thought he was white, he had the country in gripped, gripped in fear. Like this guy, we thought he would build his own <laughs> helicopter <laughs> and fly away. And then, <laughs> and then come back someday. And then, oh my God, we are in the grips of fear, but it was yeah. just a nigga and his son in a Buick and caught him sleeping with a hole in the trunk, shoot a white person, and bounce. That's it. And it makes it look, I think a guy that gets away over the years of killing 20 women, yeah. 16 women, takes some bit of 
intelligence. Oh, when they fucking get him, like, on cold case files after 25 years, the cop knocks on your door and you're just like, what? It was fucking 25 years ago. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> but, you know. Like, BTK seems something. to be this sinister genius. Yeah, yeah. Gary Ridgway, who killed about 80 women. He's only in jail for BTK. 50. You know, Not, what, you be, know too much about serial killers. It's very, interesting to me. It is. Very. It's, it's very interesting. If I was going to do serial kill, I would definitely, I would probably, I would not kill black people. Mm -hmm. I would go again. I would read the, the profile books, and I probably would have to kill what would, what would your That's thing be? The white people. And they, if you you're a serial killer, white. you got to have a thing. But what, see, what most thing of them are this this hands-on. Like, you know Gary Ridgway, right? Right? Gary Gary Ridgway? No. He's the Green River Killer. He's oh, okay. the most prolific serial killer in the history of this country, uh, almost officially. He admitted to 80, but he's but he's only so in jail for 50. Up eye. No, he's dead. He that, he, that was uh, a... Yeah. That was Otis Tool. Wait, and that's the guy that killed um the, Otis Tool. Uh, oh, Otis John Tool. Son, yeah. He killed John yeah. Walsh from, from what you call it. The Green River Killer you're talking about? His brother, I, I believe, was a guy... There's a book called My Name is Steven about a kid who was kidnapped for many, many years, and then he finally got home to his family, and that was his brother. I, I believe was his brother became... Was the Green River Killer. Was the Green... Oh. Gary Ridgway. So, uh, oh, how I would do it, you ask? Well, if yeah. I was going to do it. To but a, a lot thing. of these guys are sexual. It's all yeah. fucking the dead body That's afterwards. Is, yeah. and, and a lot of that that, that creepy sh I don't know what it really is. And you and it's like women are, are just things. Yeah. And then they, that's why they kill prostitutes. So they have no, they're just things and shit. And then, I like the ones that sometimes pose them in yeah. provocative yeah. positions, the bodies, so that when the cops find them, they're like posed in these weird positions. That's some... That's shit that you can't just say, I'm going to be a serial killer and do that. You you have to be so fucked up in the head. <laughs> it's just too weird. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm not that weird, but when I do daydream about killing... <laughs> killing white people? Um, It's definitely... Uh, what's the guy, the first mass murderer? If I'm going to do the first... He's, he's considered the first mass killer. Not serial wow. killer, but uh, the guy on top of the Dallas... Uh, Oh, oh, right, right. Um, and, uh, Jesus, you're Charles Whit Whitmore. Whit uh, Whitman. Charles Whitman. Charles Whitman. Whitmore is lost. Right. <laughs> Whitmore. <laughs> Whit Whit Charles Whitman, like, just to go somewhere, and I just would think to have one of those goddamn guns from Wanted. Uh, you ever see that movie Wanted, where they were shooting bullets around the corner? With, yeah, uh, where they swing the gun Angelina around. Jolie. Yeah, yeah. Just a, one that can shoot from about two miles away. Mm -hmm. And just... You know, just... Yeah, just just random, and probably not even random people. Got to be people that made me that just remind me of things that make through me the, sick. Through the scope, you would look at him and go, "I ah, kill him now, nah, leave him alone." Nah, yep, just to play her. God. I know, play God right there, and go, nah. and then maybe go back to one that you said no and shoot him anyway. And just it, nah. <laughs> like this guy, like definitely, definitely, what seems to be the oppressor. Definitely, if I was caught. That yeah. I was doing it, black people would probably... Would say it was racially motivated. No, black people would probably be, be like, I'll be some kind of weird hero. Yeah. It's where like, yeah, where y'all would be like, why the fuck? <laughs> why outside they say nothing about this? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and just motherfuckers just sleeping on the ground. Why some fucking guy <laughs> with his, with the typical white guy. I'm gonna, in my head, I'm looking at the guy, and in my head, I'm two miles away. He's going, doop do doop do doop do doop do doop do doop And I'm just like. stupid white guy. <laughs> or and... I'll definitely shoot somebody on a Segway. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody on a Segway? <laughs> fucking traffic cop, maybe. <laughs> Meet a maid, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. If I was, you know, if you I was be the Segway serial crazy. killer, the Segway killer. <laughs> wow. You would be, be afraid good. to drive your Segways. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you dream about you have serial killing thoughts. Nah, not serial not really, killing yeah. thoughts. I Mass murder thoughts. I have home invasion thoughts. Of kicking someone's door in? No. Oh, like someone comes in and you're just in. ready for action. Oh, a bunch of people. It has to be a lot of oh, people. You would just can't just be fucking, one guy. You're gonna kill one of your girlfriends by mistake. No, no, you are. I don't. I am so with a gun that, that comes that's hooked against your forearm <laughs> and it comes out with like some like kind of taxi driver. <laughs> James Bond. Action. Yeah, just you're gonna do it. I know you're gonna kill one. Right, 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 right. By I'm very, mistake. Very safe. No, too. I'm very safe with my firearms. All right, fair enough. Very safe. Let's uh, break. Yeah. Because we really need to catch up. Patrice, so what I was trying to say, comics, it's a, it's a great place oh, to yeah. see Patrice, Friday and Saturday. 212-524-2500. Uh, and I'm tweeting now. Well, yeah, yeah. Of, give yeah. the name because everyone wants to start following you. Oh, boy. Um, it's Big, B-I-G, Mama, M-O-M-M-A, Prods, as short for productions. Oh, Big shit. Mama Prods. Patrice O'Neill is going to slowly disappear. 
<laughs> That's it, huh? Big Mama, M-O-M-M-A, Prods. He's always on to something when he comes in here. Producer now. I am going to slowly Producer. drift away. <laughs> slowly drift away. Into Big Mama production. All right, quick break. We'll, we'll continue. You. Oh, you know what? FU line. It is Friday. Let's get this out there. The people are calling the FU line. Oh, one more like thing. Crazy. One more song. thing, we'll Hope, about the, the Twitter. Yeah. The reason I called it that is because I had the funny idea that I was famous enough that somebody would have stole Patrice O'Neill. But no one did. Oh. It was completely free and open. <laughs> oh. Not even someone that grabbed and, and just oh, has a tweet damn. that says, Patrice, I, I don't I'm holding f- this for you. I don't even fucking know, man. Oh, I'm shit. just Big Mama Proz. If they did, they did me a favor. But they, it, it, Here's little Nicky. Uh, Come on, Warren. Hi, little Nicky. It's little Nicky. Can you give it to me I'm one more time? Hi, little Nicky. All right. We'll All give right, him we're back Patrice's to the info. Uh, and Patrice is also Twitter and Big Mama Prods. And I see a lot of basketball talk on your Twitter. I was watching last night, my friend. Did you watch it? I should have. A little bit? I, I, I you, you filmed story? Jimmy Fallon, what, like five? Yeah, but we went downtown and celebrated. We we had one of those rare <laughs> moments where me and Ann were hanging out and we were yep. bonding and we were drinking, drinking and oh, all sorts of debauch. Yeah, yeah, listening, listen to, listen to the show, man. You guys have, you guys have fucking <laughs> recreated a, a love affair from years back. Yeah, you know. I feel I feel it like this is like 1982 again. Uh, 82. No. What are you gonna do? Fucking, it's amazing. Ups and downs. We got the big. It up flies right now. by, my friend. We, we got the big ups right now. So it flies right. by. I did not watch the uh-huh. game. Free radio stunk. Now y'all are fucking just flowing like a motherfucker. Well, it does it. stink, doesn't it? We it's, brought a lot of people over to here, and now blows. we're building from here. And Absolutely. You, and you can feel something in the air. We're, I'm not just saying that. I listen to the show. It you can blows. feel it. But uh, I go sit in my car, and I turn that motherfucker on at about mm-hmm. 630 and listen. Well, I, I, I just want to say in the house. really no. fast, Why can't you? A- NBA Finals. Yes, sir. I want to focus for a second. For NBA Finals? I, I, I claim to be a sports fan, and mm-hmm. you know, then I, I, I let everyone down with my knowledge. But uh, I, I just don't feel like I, – I watched here and there, but I wanted the big LeBron James, Kobe Bryant. Well, why would you invest? First of all, Cleveland – Dwight Howard is a bust. He's not a bust. Cleveland, he's a bust. They're trying to make him a superstar like the, the rest of the guys. He's not. He's a bust. He's just below those guys. He's a bust offensively. He can't – he has no go-to move. He's – see – they compare him to Shaq, but Shaq had go-to moves. Oh fuck yeah! Dude. Shaq was so good at dunking on you. That was his. That was his skyhook. <laughs> Fucking, uh, he's a little clumsy. His hands ain't great. This is this is um Dwight Howard. He can't shoot free throws. He's just a rebounding and blocking machine, but he can't score. He's a liability at the end of the game. And another thing that's a liability is they don't have a Kobe. As much as I don't like Kobe, um, just because I don't. Um, I never met him. He might be a good guy, yeah, but I just don't like the guy. Why don't we like Kobe? Because he seems a, like an elitist he, douchebag. Because I'm the same. It, you you, you the feel same like he's a liar. You f- you get the inc- <laughs> the inclination he's a liar. He's just you just don't like. He seems like you should like Kobe. But, it, it's like but he got I tattoos like after he got got that rape beef. If he had it, took it that rape beef, he had it, just took it in the chin. I think snitching on Shaq when he was like, but Shaq cheats on his wife too. I think when Ooh. he did that, people just. Didn't Ooh, like him. And then when that. he brought his wife a $4 million ring yeah. as opposed to going, hey, bitch, wow. it is what it is. Because you can't be an NBA player. You can't be worth, and it is. I, I talk to my girl about this. You can't be worth $100 million. And and you get side pussy and your girl, con- it's like, shut up, bitch. I'm Kobe. <laughs> like, you can't. She's happy to be in the light. <laughs> I think that she waits for him after every game, gives him a big kiss, and the kids. You get the feeling like it's all contrived, like to say, hey, we need to be loved again. Right, right. And and you just feel like he's full of shit. You feel like it. he could be a nice guy, but on the f- front end, you feel like he's full of shit. You just feel... Uh... But it's also because Shaq is a likable guy, and there's no, everyone likes Shaquille O'Neal, and he hates him, and he played with him. And I think if you get Shaquille O'Neal to hate your guts, you're probably a douchebag. Huh? Yeah, but Shaquille is an ass, too. Like, yeah, but he, he's does, not... he does fucked up things and says fuck. Like, his thing is he wants everybody to look at him like he's, he's the godfather of the league. And sometimes there's, when you got alpha males, it's like... Mm. You 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 can't be an alpha male and always want other people to be like praising you, and then you're an asshole because see Kobe said go fuck yourself to him. Mm. Uh, he said I'm a bad motherfucker too. Fuck you and and Shaq's like he's a you know you say something about him he flopped. Dwight Howard this is the thing with, with Stan Van Gundy he flopped. Uh, Dwight Howard hit Shaq and Shaq flopped. He fell 
And the flop is just falling when you don't need to fall. Yeah, I've seen that. And and yeah. Shaq flopped, and Sam Van Gundy called him out, and he's like, then he starts going in on on Van Gundy. Uh, he's a he's a poser. He's a he's a he's a uh, what what do you call him? Um, he's the captain of panic, and he he just started going in, like he captain talked about the nigga's mama. You know, like it's like you did flop, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. You you did. You big giant. You're 387 pounds. You <laughs> fell for no reason. You can say that. But Kobe fucked up. He would have been liked if he just kept his big mouth shut. Now he's just trying to repair. You see that the, the Spike Lee thing uh, where it's like uh, they, they filmed him and he was this. Uh, what was it like? Kobe doing work. And the whole thing was Kobe talking and, and relating to his his teammates and giving them advice and laughing and uh, it's like yeah that's not you you motherfucker he's playing a role yeah you you bullshit people like LeBron because they feel like LeBron is genuine but LeBron fucked up this yeah. this time because he didn't shake he he left the court he was bombed he 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 he, he had a temper tantrum man and that wasn't good for him well he thought he you know he was gonna win it all but also he was playing with a massive tumor in his mouth. Yeah, he had to, he had to remove some shitty thing in his mouth. Yeah, it was a a, a nice sized tumor, and I think you could see it through the jaw. <laughs> yeah, oh, it shit. looked like he was like doing chewing tobacco. Yeah, his face like mini driver's face. <laughs> yeah, but I, I mean, <laughs> oh, the God. Lakers and the yeah, Magic. I wanted driver. I wanted Lakers Cavaliers. Uh, by the way, so Cal- 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 Howard fa- uh, Howard fan says forty against Cleveland. No offense. Offense. Forty. You know what? Forty against Cleveland. Here's the thing, Kobe. And and LeBron are, are the two best players in the league. I, I I put Kobe a little drop ahead of LeBron because Kobe is polished. LeBron is pure. He's 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 great a way, prodigy. Great way to say it, man. But but Kobe is a polished. You can count on Kobe his forty every night. LeBron can score a weird fifty or a really strange twenty nine, <laughs> but but Kobe drops a pretty consistent. 35 all same the time. way every time all too. the time just really good right. good player dangerous i is love lebron in the league right now kobe? i think kobe is I, th- I used to say lebron is lebron is the best he's like if you go what would you make a basketball player? he's 6 8 270 runs like a reindeer flies like an eagle and he's a bad motherfucker he's unstoppable but kobe is just a machine, man. He's a basketball machine. I have to give it to him, and I don't like him. But hmm. his game is is, Same is polished nice. is perfect. He's a polished guy. Perfect. Dwight Howard against Cleveland. You got to understand, man. It, it was it was LeBron versus the Orlando Magic. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. LeBron James That's what versus need the us. Orlando Magic, and they <laughs> won two they out need- of six. With one guy. LeBron needs uh, a Scottie Pippen. He needs more than a Scottie Pippen. Even more than a Scottie Pippen. Because look at Kobe has uh, uh, Gasol, who's no joke. Paul Gasol is a bad, bad motherfucker. Um, Trevor Rees is six foot nine. That's another thing. Cleveland had six foot one inch guards defending Rashard Lewis's 6'11 ass, who shit the bed last night. (laughs) Played like a fucking ass. Six points? <laughs> Who the fuck? Let me tell you something, man. If I'm 6'11", I'm 6'4". And if I'm playing against somebody 5'11", <laughs> I'm winning. I'm, I'm scoring. Kobe's 6'6". He's a monster. L- R- Rashard Lewis doesn't disappear. <laughs> and then they put little fat... Um, <laughs> What's that little fat motherfucker... Uh, the, the what's the little fat dude? N- Nelson, <laughs> Nelson, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> what is that? Uh, uh, uh Jameer uh, Nelson. Yeah. They took uh Skip to Malou out, who was fucking killing him. <laughs> Stan Van Gundy's dumb. <laughs> they lost that. He's they a, lost that game. He's a weird coach to look at. Oh, he looks. Listen to. He's an ass. He looks just like I'm not letting <laughs> fucking Mario brother. Coach. Yes, I'm not, Ron Jerry. Ron Jeremy is not to coach me on basketball. Yeah, same way. Just a sweaty little man. He just looks like he should my, be delivering bread. My, we'll, we'll move on. But my one thing about the NBA that bothers me and worries me: uh-huh. all the guys have neck tattoos. 
How are they going to get jobs after the NBA is over for them? <laughs> yeah, well, right. Unless they spend it all on cocaine, they're $100 million I know, contracts. I know, I just fucking... <laughs> Hey, yeah, what, 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 the neck score. tattoo is really popular it, in the it, NBA right now. I, I don't like it either. I think I'm becoming just too. I think it's an age thing. The older I get, the, the more looks scary. I, it used to be all racism to me when I was younger, <laughs> but the more, I, the older I get, the more I'm going. These kids, what is, oh. what is with this awful tattoo on your neck? Do you know what a commitment that takes? Yeah. And do you know what an asshole you look like in a suit with a when, tat on your neck? When there's an entire there's a there's a saying. Like and, and enough of your fucking tattoos that's supposed to mean something. Like stop with your your writings that say, "Hey, I died and came alive." Like go fuck yourself. So what? Your your third cousin got shot. So now I gotta look <laughs> oh, at his. God I gotta I gotta look at his fucking face with his date of death and birthday. Like, <laughs> give me a fucking break, man. Stop! <laughs> you know, I'm bummed that my dad died, but I wouldn't want a tattoo. A tattoo to be reminded of his dad, of that. like I'm looking at your arm, like right, who's with that? His, with the the years he was alive, and Fuck it's kind of warped. That's, it's not quite. No, I don't want that. It's not quite done right. I don't want <laughs> like half the faces. I don't drooping. want to see that in the bathroom every morning after I take a shower. Fuck that Here's shit. where my mom died. Hell with my, no. Her face on my forearm. You know what though? Yeah. To yeah. remind me of what? That? But in all fairness, it helps the people out there. Does it? It gives him some kind of comfort. Me, not so much. I, that would creep me out. Nah, that, you just don't need it. That would creep me out. Not, not on your neck either. And then I'm getting tired. I just tattoos. You lo- everything is lost. It's nothing. Meaning. Everything. Yeah. You just... How do you be a rebel now? It's just no way to do it. They just. I know by doing no piercings and no tattoos. I think I would <laughs> if I had the body. I think my <laughs> shape is the thing that made me not prevent you from uh, getting a tat. Uh, yeah, because I have an any belly button. It's just deep. So I would, I probably would make it a mouth. It's just tattoo probably, like a little well around it. Yeah, like a, <laughs> and I got stretch marks. I was gonna put numbers around it, like it's, make it a little map. But other than that, I have nothing I need to represent. Like you know, a couple of guys I know have the the comedy tragedy. Uh, uh, to, you yeah. know, to say you don't like that, Jimmy. No, you know the comedy dude. tragedy tattoo. You don't, you don't like to say that tattoo? I'm in this no. shit. For That's real, fucking motherfucker. horrendous. Yeah. I mean, Nick DiPaolo has that. I love Nick, but God Almighty, uh, he must have got that his first year. Oh, just to say, d- hey, yeah, right. just says I'm in it n- for good. Really? Does it? Yeah. Osh- Auschwitz, take it. Take your fucking brand of what you do. You know, Auschwitz. <laughs> That's true. You don't see garbage men with that, like fucking with a, with a truck with a bunch of fucking bags in it. That's what I do. That's who I am. That's who I am. The radio guys. Microphones. microphones. Why? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, microphones. Nah, it's embarrassing. Nah, you don't want Stop. But the worst tattoo of them all, I have to say, Kenya Martin has a tattoo of of his girlfriend's lips. They She kissed something, I guess, a piece of paper. They drew it, and he had it tattooed on his neck. Oh, oh shit. And it makes me sick. That's, that's lame. It's just exactly. At least put it on your dick. <laughs> it's, it's just pr- pronounced love. Gestures sicken me. <laughs> it's just fucking sickening me. Why, Patrice? Just be a, be some flowers, bitch, and a check. Like, <laughs> please. You're not a romantic, <laughs> are you? Nah, man. My, because, you know, my girl my listens romance to our is show on, every day, though. Uh, my girl's a soldier, man. She loves all this shit. She just, she yeah. loves it. She keeps me, That's she got me into Twitter a little bit. She's helped, she helped me a lot with it. Like, she's, like, really into going, good morning, Twit mm. family. Yeah. Now look at a dumb tweet. Hi, Twitters. <laughs> you know. Says hi to her tweeps. Her I'm not big, yeah. Aren't they called tweeps? I, I don't know what they, but here's Twitterers. A, it just gives her a friend, and I don't want to do anything to stop her friendship from anyone. It's just, <laughs> she's so happy to be friends with somebody, because I'm yeah. such a bad friend to her. Um, you know, all I have enough is to be a man. But she, mm-hmm. we had a big argument the other day, because she helped me start my Twitter. And then uh, the girl next door, uh, Angela Yee, who does the Shave 45, she helped me, like, really put the Twitter together uh-huh. and got me a bunch of friends. Like, all these friends is like, she started it. So I was, like, giving her credit. Like, go, oh, right. Oh, man, you're the oh, best. Oh, damn. And my girl's like, you didn't help me. <laughs> what does that mean? And you didn't tell me. And I'm like, bitch, you're in my life. You're supposed to help me with my fucking Twitter. Because you're supposed to wash my dishes That's tomorrow. That's your job. And I'm and Zach, your <laughs> oh, job shit. is to help me do shit, and my job is to help you do oh, shit. So shit. shut the fuck up, asshole. Let me jump in. I don't want to lose this phone call talking about tattoos. Here we go. Tim in Wisconsin. Tim. Hey, what's happening? Hey, Tim. Uh, you guys were talking about tattoos earlier. Uh, my cousin, she got pregnant by her boyfriend, 
I'm sure it wasn't planned, uh, but she oh, ended no. up tattooed, or she got a miscarriage, so she tattooed the baby, what the baby's name was going to be, and some dates on, like, her arm or something. What did she put? As a, what, what, what were the dates? 5 o'clock dash 530? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, my God. Oh, it, Talk about wanting to be a victim, you know? Wow. Yeah, that's that's just, why would you want to be reminded of something like that? That's just yeah. pathetic. She just wants to be a victim. Do you want people to ask about it? You know? you know what? You make a good point. People do yeah. want to be victims. I respect right, faded out guys. tattoos. Thanks, Tim. You know, you get yeah, some like guy. Old fucking old Navy guys. Yeah. Yeah. Navy. Some merchant marine with yeah. a fucking pair of tits on his arm that faded. Yeah, the Can't fucking tell. B- oh, shitty. Yeah, the tits are uh, a wopsided yeah, one small just, and, yeah. a big, and bigger than another. A big some blue blur. A mermaid with tits. Some bitch with a fucking <laughs> yeah. butterfly on her ankle just to say I'm a little bit crazy. Well, the guys, the the guys that got their tattoos in a port overseas... Yeah. Instead of getting it at the local strip mall. When you were driving. I respect that. Right? In a way, you do. You oh, I got that. this when I was in fucking Hong Kong or yeah. whatever the fuck. I remember this one. Right. I, I mean, a, I mean, you know, you can get tattoos. I'm not against them, but it's just like you've now, I, you can't get them. If you're, if you're somebody trying to just make a statement, it's just easy to be a, have a That's why I respect old gay guys, because they were gay <laughs> When it before, was, when it was a like it's bitch. almost cool to be a gay guy now. Like it's almost like you see, n- you no s- one fucks with gay guys. Now. Remember when you used to see like two guys holding hands? It would be like, what the fuck? What the fuck? You don't, you don't, you see it more and more now, where you're not doing the what the fuck, turning your head fast move. Anymore. I respect two old, like I, I respect Miss Jane Hathaway, lesbians, <laughs> just some old dyke who just ah. was she a lesbian on that oh, show? But well, oh well, well no. we all knew, she was a but. Lesbian. Being. Yeah, but I think she was after Jethro all the time. Yeah, I, I think it's too that. easy to be Jethro everything dick. now. It's just too easy yeah. to be everything. Like you know what I mean? So I, I'm, I'm make a point there. Where do you where do you go? Like that's why I go fuck Twitter. But what am I doing? I'm gonna be a martyr? Like yeah. I'm gonna be a, the you're guy the who doesn't do it, do and it. no one cares until I'm yeah, dead. Yeah. You're the one that doesn't do it. Everyone else is doing it, and no one cares that you don't do it. And exactly. Like yeah. your rebellion means nothing. I'm just a lonely yeah. fat guy with no Twitters. The fuck is wrong with that woman? It's the that's the that's the um. Oh, it's digitized. Yeah. Holy shit! What happened? It. Like I'm just looking at that woman's face, but it's all digitized because uh, Sarah Palin looks fucking smoking hot. She lost weight. Oh, be Twitter me, man, so I can. They fucking I follow you. Gussied her up. She looks great. She was too good looking, so they they fucked with her, so people would vote for her and not think you know, hey, she's not this bimbo. Not that, now no, that it's just not, a, no, it's just a bad thing because she's talking to this bitch. They're going after fucking no, Letterman I mean still, man. Well, she is. Yeah. No, but now there's the the women's group. Uh, where are we at with that? Going after. Hold on a minute. Well, women's advocacy uh, group wants an apology from Letterman for the Palin joke. He made for a couple. He made a couple of. Jo- he made a mistake. He made a joke about. I think she had brought her 14 year old daughter. He made a. He made a couple of jokes about her. One, her daughter was like a hooker, and that she got knocked up by a Rod. And uh, she's funny material. I, 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 I heard yeah. she's in, fucking in, fuming. In era, it it may have been a bad judgment choice. Yeah, but it was funny. Yeah, Be, and it has context to it because right. her but, other daughter is a fucking is an unwed fucking mother. Well, they're focusing on the fact that the wrong daughter was in town. But if you're like a, a joke writer, you know, for Letterman, Palin's in town. Okay, what can we do with Palin? Yeah. That's all they're thinking. They're not looking at the itinerary right. and saying, oh, uh, she's here with the younger daughter. But they're discredited. It's just Palin material they're going for. They're discredited because they went after Obama for the retard thing on Leno. <laughs> and I'm like, eat my ass. Like, that's yeah. you, you, why would you... I'm not going to fall for that banana in the tailpipe, man. I'm not going to be upset when, when retard doesn't mean some fucking kid who, you know, it doesn't mean mm-hmm. simple jack. Or, yeah. you know, it means, simple dude, jack. you're a dick. It means I'm a dick. when I, I'm an asshole when I bowl. Yeah, you I'm a retard. Up, you're a retard. Look, look at this one. I mean, uh, fuck. What was the headline? There's a 700-pound bitch on oh TV right now. I know, but God. you got to see what the story's about. A Five girl. Five kids of brutality. Yeah, but they attacking. just showed the crime, and I can't remember now. Uh, she was beat up, burned. burned with cigarettes or something. And then they cut her hair off in a Chicago park. Oh. Oh. Face and scalp were burned with cigarette lighter. Are these the girls that did it, or are these the girls no, that had it? Must happen? be the ones. Look at her, big fat lonely girl. She probably got beat up. Oh, it's man. amazing what they're not pointing out, though. Oh, oh okay. Is it racial? I know. I actually might be. Uh, oh, it's a black girl. White and black beating her up. I can't uh, tell. I can't that tell. skinny one boy is on top of this big mule. Yeah. And they just cut her hair. 
What'd wow. she do? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Probably just was, her, you know, was her. But the thing is, this when when David Schuster made his comment about Hillary about Chelsea Clinton, and they they crucified him for it. He got suspended for two weeks, and he should not have gotten in trouble for that. And it's just the same thing happening to Letterman. It's like uh, you know what? It's great for business. It, 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 for yes, yes, and no. Can hang in there. This is uh, this is a rough one. Uh, let him have to survive say, it. He's gonna have to say something. Oh, he did. He did say. <sighs> no, sorry. I know, but that wasn't enough because they're still going after him. So he's gonna have to say uh, his apology. If they would let him, didn't say, seem... shut up. That, that, <laughs> he how sort of fast did. would that go away? Yeah. It wouldn't. I'm telling you, not because she's she's because she's being she's Sarah Palin first of all, and she's being vocal. And she's what, what does that mean? And what does that she mean? gets a lot of media coverage. She she can get the media coverage whatever she wants. Not and she's it's irrelevant. Letterman. It's, it's Letterman. Like, but look at her. They're talking on on fucking the Today Show. They, they have nothing else to talk want. about. So I'm saying she can get media coverage. But she can get media coverage, and she can complain. And there's enough people who like her who don't like uh, uh, liberals. What is she asking? Uh, I don't know, to be honest with you. But I'm saying there's enough people that like her and, and a Republican that would fucking kick it up a, a, a storm. But what is she? Is she coming on just going like? Is she going? David should do this, or she's just going? Oh, that was. I heard her thing was like, oh, that was. That wasn't right, Mr. Yeah, Davey is, Letterman. And then like, what does she want now? Like, I don't what know what she, she want wants. Or something. But she's yeah. still. She's attacking him. Uh, and she's saying that he was implying he wanted to have sex with a 14 year old, which is obviously not true. But the bottom line is to hear that from someone who is just a vice presidential candidate is fucking damaging. Why wouldn't somebody on the news say, get over it, sir. get get a hold of yourself, bitch? Yeah, yeah. Because if somebody made a, a sex joke about Michelle Obama or a fucking hook called her a hooker, true that. there would be a fucking mm. an outcry, yeah, and she's true. an adult. She is not, you are not hearing any Michelle Obama in this going Except on. by the fucking kid. That's the only one who makes fun of her. Who's the kid? Me. Did you refer to yourself in the third I person and not your did. name, you dick? Well, no, I, I, uh, of course I made what fun of her. What does the kid say? I yeah, made what? fun of her on Letterman. Her dumb eyes. Oh, I made fun of her on uh, on Red Eye. Yeah, but uh, you... I, I Letterman. You don't, I no one, no one, <laughs> Nobody is really fucking with her. They used to fuck with Hillary's ankles. They yeah. used to fuck with the fact that, you know, that they, they, she had a lot of pressure on her. And also Sarah Palin, they ruthlessly dogged this bitch. Yeah. And no one really. Do you think Palin's going to be a, a player? No. No way. Of the Republicans not. are leaving her. No. Of course not. She's goofy. She still gets a lot of coverage. They attacked her because she's hot and she's against abortion. She's like a conservative Republican, which uh, just really annoyed people, I think. I got to go to the phones again. Another tattoo story. Uh, Tom in Jersey. Tom. Hey, it's John. Uh, well, I'm like, I don't want to bring the show down, but I'm like a walking memorial for my wife. What happened? Uh, we ended up losing. We lost. Technically, five babies in one year. So Jesus, I got, how? I got my whole back is tattooed up. What did she have? Sept septuplets, and she, and she miscarried. How did you lose five babies? Uh, she had quadruplets and carried them for six months, and they lived for like an hour. And wow. then uh, the first baby she lost after three. And now you got all these dead babies on your back. Yeah. Jesus. No, he's saying it. But now, do you have do you have kids too? Saying. Do you have other kids? Yeah. Now, now I have a set of twins. Wait a minute. So you guys are doing that uh, like uh, turkey baster stuff, huh? Uh, yes and no. It was it was a lot of medicine, but now to, uh, do you got little faces on your back? No, I wanted to get that done. Oh. No, I got uh, it's all crosses. Oh my! Like, uh, you got a little cemetery on your fucking back. And that's just. And can I ask you a question? Funny. What is that for? Like, what is the uh, the absolute ending purpose for that? It's it's just it's it's it's. Uh -huh. Not like closure. It's just you know, it's just something that reminds you to keep going. Hey, you can't. And plus, it, look, I, I don't know what it's like to lose a baby. So it's like you're you're kind of bringing them with you everywhere you go in a weird way. It's not, you know what I mean? It's like yeah, uh, yeah, they're still here in some way. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. Yeah, who are we to say if it helps you out? Yeah, if you lose a kid, that's fucking. No, I'm not I, judging I it. It's just like why? Like, I could just say for myself that would be rough uh, to do, but I mean, if it helps people to you know move on, or this, move you, you can't or whatever. Feel better. Yeah. You can't get a tattoo for everything. You know. No, like now the, the the two that are living, I got their footprints in a special way. You know, I have to get their actual. Not with hand. your fucking tattoos. You get something God, fun next time, on. sir. Yeah, go for a fun tattoo. Get, him, get, get him, like a skull. How about a mermaid blowing a demon? Something silly. Christ, on Actually, a pony. Uh, get a I koi. Might get a wow sticker. I might get a wow sticker tattooed to me. I Good boy. I don't. Right now spot. we're talking. I've seen a couple of tattoos of my signature, which was very odd. Guys yeah. have had me sign their arms, and they sent me a photo of the tattoo that they got with my name signed on it. You fucking secretly I love that, too. Yeah, who wouldn't? Fucking egomaniac. I think it's crazy. But it's bizarre. It's bizarre. It's bizarre. It's not a tattoo. It was just a sharpie.
No. They didn't. They didn't. Yeah, come on. No. <laughs> you got to sit through the pain. You got to sit through the pain. All right, Tom. Thank you. Uh, well, All right, thanks. I want someone to tattoo my name on their face. Ten bucks. And the thing is, somebody might do, you know, you hear oh. it and you go, and somebody has that kind of shit on them, and they go, you think that's, f-? I, it's like, look, man, that's for you. Yeah. Like, don't force me. Let me tell you something. You show me, any, if he show me his back yeah. to make me feel, I'd be like, he, all he can expect is lies yeah, from yeah. me. Like, oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. And I'll be trying to that. figure out how long to, it's like, that's like, your oh, fucking damn, that's, situation, man. Damn, that's. Uh, it ain't got nothing to do with empathy or anything. It's just, what the fuck oh, do you want shit. me to do? Is that real? What is it, Ant? A tattoo. This cruddy bitch with a dick on her dick chest. Su- and it says dick sucker. She's what probably a, a hooker. A what dick a, going right what? up her cleavage. What a cruddy mistake that is. Up to her neck. Oh, what? And, and black people got to be very careful with our tattoos because of, uh, of keloiding and uh, and the fact that we can't get those good colors. The fact you're dark with dark ink. Yeah, it's, they all look like gel tattoos because it's dark. It's, uh, what stuff. the fuck? It's Can just, they get white ink? Why can't they get white ink? It would look doesn't awful. doesn't work very well. No, it wouldn't. It comes up gray or something. Yeah. yeah. Well, how yeah, about they good. fix it? The color doesn't... Uh, they can make a dick a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus they, Christ. Let me see that horrible one, Danny. Oh, let me see that. Favorite. that uh, favorite. That's my favorite horrible tattoo. Look at this guy in loving memory. No, look at the picture of it, and look at the horrible job. What did she What did she die? Is that a demon? That is terrible. <laughs> they don't know how to do teeth in tattoos. No, some people are really fucking good at some doing does. portrait tests. Yes. That's because... But the, the teeth the, fuck it up. That is, isn't a, like, an example of somebody that's yeah. good. Nobody wants to see flesh-colored teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> flesh-colored teeth give everyone the creeps with dark outline. <laughs> My teeth are flesh-colored. Nobody wants skin teeth. Let me go to Cat. Cat, what's up? Hey, um, I was watching the Today Show today, and Sarah Pollan was saying that she was upset because this is lowering the self-esteem of young women today. But as I remember, I had low self-esteem in the 90s. My mom had low self-esteem in the 60s, but I'm sure if I asked my grandma or great-grandma, they had low self-esteem back in the 1800s. So I don't know why Sarah Pollan is trying to make everything seem so rosy. Well, it's like this. You can't blame Sarah Palin for sounding off about this anymore. I don't like mm-hmm. Hillary, but I didn't blame her for trashing MSNBC. You know, when it's your daughter, you kind of got the right to talk a lot of shit about it. I don't, you know. Yeah, the claws Hillary, did, I, I felt the same way when Hillary did it. Yeah. Damn, yeah, it's, yeah but the thing one. is Look, you know, that she's saying rape jokes are the reason why girls are having low self-esteem. And you know what? I'm, I'm sorry. Anything to do with rape, it's a joke. <sighs> Laugh at it. If you're not going to laugh at it, you're going to cry. Can I ask you a quick question? You know what? Palin Palin should speak her mind, obviously, and then just move on. I mean, what? You want Letterman fired or something? Can we discuss this really quick for like like a minute? No, I'm not saying you. I'm just uh, generalizing. Like, what does she want in the end? You know, she didn't like the joke. All right, speak your mind, get your point out, and that's it. That's how it should work in America. Can I say this? End of story. Is this you? Can I go on a limb? Is this you, Kat? Yes. Oh, hi. How are you? (laughs) Hi. How are you doing? Good. (laughs) Who's Kat? I'm, not cat. I'm the abortion doctor. <laughs> abortion doctor. Oh, Remember the good egg. The, she was up in the <laughs> studio. Can I ask? A, can yeah, you tell back me Back in the why, when we used to have live audio. Why women? Just really, why do they? Why do they suck? <laughs> why do they like, suck? Like, why are they just <laughs> not? There's not one that you go. This bitch is a bet. Like, did why are they just awful? Un fucking fun. <laughs> Unfri- not interesting. Wow. Why the fuck are they awful? Why can't I watch women's basketball? Why can't I listen to a woman rapper? Women singers I can get with. Yeah. A good woman singer. Other than that, what the you fuck? You don't like Lil' Kim? Uh, Come on, I like Lil' Kim. Stop it. I do. She looks like Mickey Rourke now. What woman sport? <laughs> what woman sport would you watch? I watch women's volleyball for the for the for the, for the, ja- for the jack off reasons. Yeah. But well, what woman sport? Athletically? Yeah, what would you watch that women darts do? or pool <laughs> or bowling? I'm trying to think. Would there be a sport I would watch if, for the If athletic? it's not sex, sex, sex oh, appeal? Oh, yeah, you got to take that out of Boxing. It. I'd love to see two chicks None. fucking duking I'm it out. To think. None. The WNBA? MMA shit? Kickboxing? Uh, I'm going to tell, tell you why. Because they're always trying to do it like men. And it just looks like inferior... 
It looks like children. It's like Olympic stuff. Yeah, they can it's do. just they're, they're, they can do Olympic. Anything stuff. they do that's that running is is good to watch them run against other women. <clears throat> you no, know what's pissing me off about the NBA Finals, and we've talked about it on this show, the female sideline reporter. There's a million mm. like NBA guys that would love that gig that aren't playing anymore that know the sport. And instead, they go to the sideline, whether it's in a football game or a basketball game, whatnot. Well, let me ask you, what's, and, the, and what's the problem with the with the woman sideline reporter? That's my question. I There's just, something just wrong. Because I, I want to listen to a guy that might have played. You know what I but, mean? But see, the argument is they're going to know. They know what they're talking about, and they know what questions to ask. But it's like uh, Sager, Craig Sager. What's the difference between uh, how he asks a question well, you know and how a lady asks a question? I'm not a fan of his either. That's rather, what I'm saying. I'd rather see an old NBA player out there. But still, you still go, I'd rather watch Craig Sager. Yeah, absolutely. Like, there's, I, like some old... The lesser you, of two evils, but... You just don't care. But also, it's a white chick, and I'm like, what do you know about the NBA? And, you, and, and you're just there, and, and this dude is sweating. Like like announcers, you, the excuse is they went, to, you know, they went to some kind of school for that or whatever and like learned their trade. I don't know. The sideline reporter. But why is it bad? See, that's that's what you're I not don't digging know. deep. Why is it bad? I don't know. Exactly. Maybe because that's the question. Why the fuck? Maybe because they're invading a like a man's world or something. Like like, I don't like think when you're that... watching an NBA game. I don't know. I I'll want a why. woman to invade my fucking because world girls and not suck. Com- girls always complain about sports. They never growing up participated in sports conversations. They were never fun about sports. They never encouraged sports growing up ever. And now all of a sudden they see a gig and they want to be a part right. of it and it's annoying. I'll I'll answer the question. I think um, I like that answer. I think the guys aren't being real because a woman is interviewing them. Hmm. Well, the, the it question goes back they asked, to, it goes uh, back to what, like, what are they going to say? It goes back to the women in the locker room, and all of a sudden, like, you know. They were on TV, Opie, and, and they're asking them. So they asked him a goofy question like, you had a great game. How'd you have it? It's not like he can go. Now, if he wasn't a girl, here's how I would answer. Yo, motherfucker, nigga, when uh, I dunked it on that dude, you know what I'm saying? He's going to say the same cornball shit he says I, to a I, woman. I have a feeling they, they hold back a little bit. I don't, for whatever reason. Nah. Well, I, they're, they're corny because it's, it's on camera. I yeah. think as a girl asking a question, a woman asking a question, you don't feel like she gives a shit about the answer. Like, you know she's only asking because that's her gig, and she got that gig because she's a woman and complained that she wanted the gig. Whereas a guy's asking, that's, in, in your life, you have guys that go, how the fuck did you do that? And you go, oh, uh, right, right, with right. A, with a, in real life, a chick never comes up and goes, how did you fucking steal second that good? Or how did you, how did you uh, hit that free throw? It just doesn't happen. You almost feel like she doesn't even understand the questions she's asking. That's why I love I love you Charles Barkley. I mean? You know Charles Barkley's one of the I love biggest Charles womanizers. I, I didn't know it I will until surreal. recently where he goes against this girl doing push-ups, and she's, like, serious. And she's doing good push-ups. She does about 34. And so Barkley does 35 just to beat her. And then he's laughing I'm at hurting her, right? 35, though, right? Nah. The he's, last year was... He's, he's, good. He's, he's a strong <laughs> guy, man. And and at the end of the day, right, uh, Keith, uh, uh, Kenny Smith goes, hey, Charles, he said something. He goes, Charles, why don't, how come you don't buy women watches? He goes, because there's a clock on the stove. <laughs> <laughs> I almost shit my pants. That is a good one. <laughs> it's so fucking funny because how that's what fuck? we did growing up. We teased girls. Yep. We pointed at them and laughed. Clock Adam. on the stove. <laughs> it's so awful. But all of, all of a sudden, we just, all of a sudden, it's like, I have to pretend I want to listen to fucking Janice Salupi talk to me. Like, it just ain't real. How did Charles get his job back so fast? That's how talented he is. Because he, and that's you know how why? valuable he is. No, it's the same way. It's why David Letterman should tell Sarah Palin and go, shut the fuck up. Charles said, look, I got caught drinking and driving. I was going to cheat on my woman. I got bopped. I was drunk and going to get some side pussy, and I got bopped. It is what it is. I'm going to take a break. And when mm-hmm. he came back, the first thing he said was, look, don't f- – I'm going to say sorry now. I don't hear no more shit. And that's it. End I don't story, give a fuck. Yeah. I fucked up so and – I, and I gamble. It's my <laughs> money. Like, shut the fuck – Charles is basically like, fuck you. And that's how you said him. I always said this shit about Michael Richards and Pee Wee Herman are the no, – sorry, are the poster childs for being phony. Look, would I ever take a job on the Disney Channel? No. I, I just know that yeah, it's, it's possible be, I can jerk off yeah. or call somebody a nigga. It just, 
It's, you know, yeah, yeah, it's like so you. you do things that that are up your alley. You know what I'm saying? You have a job where you can tease, you can joke about you fucking young bitches. Can't do that if you're on that's so Raven or the Jonas Brothers. Right. Oh, yeah. The right. Jonas Brothers can't fuck up ever. All right, no, listen, no. listen, listen. Ever they do something. Break it in. Yeah. Uh, MC Hammer's here. Oh, okay. We're gonna take a quick break. Wait, we're gonna talk to MC Hammer. And then we're going to get the fuck out of here. Oh, Patrice oh, O'Neill's at Comics tonight and tomorrow. Let me get through this. C-O-M-I-X-N-Y dot com or 212-524-2500 for tickets. Uh, downtown. It's a great club. We've been there a bunch. And on Twitter, it's Big Mama Prods. Yeah, man. To follow Patrice O'Neill. <laughs> Say it with love, nigga. Big Mama Prize. I'm going to be following Opie Radio now. Yeah, hell, yeah we'll do Ooh. a little back which and are, forth. Which are good numbers, too, by the way, Steve, sweetie. Well, what, I'm 40 a, G's? Well, I'm a whore, though. I mean, I'm just a whore. How many numbers you got, Dan? Quick break. We got we to uh, break. I got out. half that many. Yeah, but he's I'll doing I don't Twitter G's. that much. But he's, he's doing something else. I'm that's... doing a TV thing. Shh. I think Hammer has 950,000. <laughs> yeah, keep it quiet. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I just keep it all quiet. Oh, does a nice podcast from his house. We're allowed to mention that. Do you? We just shouldn't be yeah. talking too much about it. So we're doing different things on the side. It's nice. What's going on now? Set. MC Hammer next. As MC Hammer makes his way into the studio. Yeah, he hasn't heard this enough. He probably I, has. Oh, literal Jim. Uh, I got to apologize right off the bat. They're playing like, can't touch this. I'm sure you, you know, I'm sure you. you heard it. Heard, heard it way that. too much, right? Oh, I mean, but well, it's my <laughs> record, though. Yeah, you know, come great. on, everybody in this business got an ego, baby. <laughs> you you stroke the ego, stroke the ego. All right. Let me tell you something. I, I, no, I, you know, How right. it's all right. goddamn sick of you of people in goddamn chromium pants dancing around at every friggin' news thing that you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing my balls off. I no, 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 I'm not, I'm not laughing the same as you laughing. I'm not, <laughs> I like to see them dancing in the pants. Are you kidding me? I like to see them dancing in the pants. You got you to be kidding me. Why? Because do you, you think it's funny just to watch them being terrible at it? Or because... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more, um, uh, it's just, you know, it's flattering. No one could really, no one could, no one could do it as well. That's the uh, problem. They do their thing, man. Yeah, da- they dancing, do. dancing is subjective. Well, yeah. we're not going to do it here, MC. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to still... Wait, 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 wait. That's part of the deal. part of the deal. I'm not coming in here doing do nothing unless you're going to get out in the pants. I bought, uh, I bought four or five pair with me, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. All right, Everybody's you know. got to wear the pants. You Jesus. Know, uh, so we're promoting what? Uh, Hammer Time? Oh, yeah. uh, it's going to be on A&E, 10 p.m. Oh, on yeah. Sunday. We're promoting what? No, I'll tell you. I'll be I'll be completely honest with you. I, I didn't know what the hell you were up to until two days ago. I told you outside the studio they had a flash mob uh, video. That, right, that right, right. Went online. It's viral. It's it's unbelievable. And then all of a sudden, I know all about Hammer Time. Well, now. Well, thank God for that viral video. We it, don't want to have you out of the loop here. It, you know, we're trying to do things. But it was know. beautiful <laughs> marketing. Uh, really quick for the people that haven't seen it. It's some kind of clothing store in L.A. Mm-hmm. You know, the, you know the mob thing where all of a sudden everyone shows up at the same time. Yeah. And there's people in the store, and next thing you know, the door opens. And how many people? Two hundred, easy. Yeah, it, look, it looks like about two hundred people. Maybe two hundred people, and they're they're doing the dance and everything, and freaking out at everybody. And then there's a line dance that goes on, and then all of a sudden <laughs> someone blows a whistle, and these people are gone. Yeah, yeah. And the yeah, people left yeah. going, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> and that's what I said at home. And then I'm like, "Oh, okay, he's doing a reality show." God, right, hey, hey, man. Thank God for that, because I can't have you out of the loop. You know, you're important in this big picture here. You know? <laughs> yeah. So um, the video, yeah, it's uh, it was pretty cool. It's though. been uh, four days. It has a million views already. So it, huh? it, it went viral really quickly, and you know, people relate to the video. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Did so you? How were you? How were you approached to do uh to do the show? Like, because. Uh, you know, you're kind of out of the picture for a little while there. Well, um, you know, seven, maybe eight years ago, I did the original uh, Surreal's li- Surreal Life. That's the, seven the, years ago uh, already? Yeah, yeah, seven years oh, ago. Damn. And uh, uh, while we were doing yeah. that uh, show, uh, I got offered uh, a actual sitcom um, out of that because they, they see I got it, you know, I got it pretty quickly. And, and uh, uh, it was over at Warner Brothers, and at that time the president changed, and so we didn't do anything. And uh, but the guys who did that show with me end up becoming the biggest producers of reality TV in the business. So they end up doing all the whole block for VH1, mm. the Flavor of Love, New York, all the same guys. They 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 Abrego, was it, uh, Chris Abrego and uh, Mark Cronin, and uh, I'm leaving out somebody. Uh, who was with you on that? Was that what that was that the Webster year? Yeah, that was uh, Webster uh, year. Uh, I uh, love that. I love yeah, the, yeah. the the original. Surreal that was one. original one. Yeah, it was so, the Webster year, and was uh, uh, Vince Neil Baker was on that one. No, no, Vince Neal, uh, Corey Feldman, 
All right. Manuel Lewis. Yeah, but that that was the year. And so that, that was, was the when first show. You, you, you went off about the sushi on the girl. <laughs> right. What? If they had I, sushi on the naked girl and Hammond right, wasn't right, having right, it. Right, right, right. We were like, hold on, man. You know, I ain't getting down with all that, man. Y'all exploiting her. You know, so I, anyway, you know. Well, you're so, not even exploiting women, Hammond? Not, not like that, I'm man. I'm out of here, man. I'll only personal. Hey, uh, personal. <laughs> look, hey, look at, look at. Personal. Personal. No, yeah, no, no. no I ain't in that. I'm not I in, no, I don't believe in that. You know that. Well, at least I, I, the women. But anyway, those, one of those videos we were just watching. Except earlier. for three, five, <laughs> seven back yeah. in the day. <laughs> what you trying to do? I'm playing around with you. I'm messing with you. Uh, <laughs> what are they doing? What are they doing? Uh, wait, and, wait, wait. And, and the two big MC. What are they doing? Okay, hold on. Chain of thought, man. Hold on. Don't digress, man. Keep chain of thought. Focus, man. Y'all focus in here. We've been wanting to say that to Patrice for years. Thank you, MC. Hey, no. So I'm only saying that to say. Tell him to breathe too. Because that will help the show as well. I just wanted to see if he had another two big MC out. Uh we hold auditions for that right after this and you better be ready since you put it out there now. Uh, uh but no, so anyway, uh I made a decision that uh I wouldn't do reality unless I had uh creative control. Unless I could be executive producer, creator of the show, I wouldn't do it. So I got offered shows for the last six, seven years all the time. I said no, 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 and about a year and some change ago, uh Andy approached me and they gave me a call and said, Hammer, would you be interested in doing a show with us? We've been doing some research, you know, your, your demographics, blah, blah, blah. And I said, uh, under these circumstances, these parameters, I would be interested. And we cut the deal and it still took another year to get the language right because Jesus I wanted to make sure Christ. that the language wow. is right. Uh, and uh, so that's how, that's the genesis of how this show came about. What is it about you that makes you, I mean, people are fascinated by you. Like, I mean, there's been a lot of rappers who have been successful, who have put out a lot of albums, but people have had a long standing fascination with you uh is it because you were perceived to have been doing really well and then not doing well or what, what is it that people are just they can't get enough he of you? was famous uh, no 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 I, but it's more than that with him it's more than that with him uh, he was famous um no rapper was famous. No, him. people are not as people, uh, people don't want to see LL Cool J. I'm letting them go back and forth. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> work it out, guys. Work it out. Let me, work it let out. me answer this question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Work it out. Go ahead. Work it out. Hammer, I mean, work it out. Go. Work it out. I'm working out. Yeah, I mean, you know, but he, he, of course he was. That's why I said there's been a lot of rappers. I didn't say you're the only guy that ever do that. But there's been a lot of rappers. No, so I'm saying, Kelly, not famous. Let let know. Nobody's know. asking KRS One to do a a reality show because KRS One wasn't famous. He was famous, but not as famous. Famous. There's no such thing as as famous. He was Hammer. Had a a show. He had a hundred guys on. It was he wasn't a rapper. He's right in here. terms of oh, yeah, no, yeah, exactly. He's not dead. I'm letting him work it out, man. Work it out. Hammer, I love you it. wasn't a rapper. Like it, he was famous. That's what it was. He was famous. Yes, he was, he was famous. A, Hammer was the first famous rapper. It what? It like no, he that. wasn't. There was he was very else. famous, but not the first. Run DMC. They weren't famous. They weren't famous till after. I, I would argue till they after were very famous. This way, but he was. Oh wow. Hello, Cool J was famous. No. Mainstream fame you're talking about? No, I'm Not talking. Fab Five Freddy, yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it was a phenomenon, dude. FC Hammer's just going to watch yeah, us really argue was. now. Say, hey, at any I point, you know, uh, you guys, if you know. But what's really, your opinion uh, on the matter? Uh, oh, what's the matter? Oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. rapper uh, to be a phenomenon like you, uh, Hammer. You a phenomenon. No, no, it's not. You, know, if you uh, can stand uh, on the outside and look at not you. Well, you know, it ain't my. Uh, I, I should say, it's not my style to compliment. You know, I don't want to fan my own flame. But what I'm saying is, for, by the way, for the first time, I even address my perspective on all of it from a business perspective. Mm -hmm. From from uh, I, I did it with all allhiphop.com and uh, video wise, and they're gonna mm -hmm. release it this this weekend. But I actually put everything in proper perspective for the first time, and I articulate some of the things you that you are saying uh, from my perspective. So, you know, that the ham third person, the hammer thing. Uh, at one point, second album. Keep in mind, my first album sold three million copies. So, uh, when I was when I became uh, a quote unquote popular artist, there was a foundation that was laid already of you know triple triple platinum album, and I had already gone from an opener to a closer on my mm -hmm. first album. So I, it, it was not like I came out of nowhere. With the second album, when I hit number one, I hit number one in January, and in the summer in July. I was still number one. You have to really put that in perspective. Just just understand what you know about radio. Records come out every Tuesday, and there's a staff of people who are responsible for getting records to number one, and that's their job. They had to come and tell a boss every week from January to July, uh, who's number one this week? Uh, uh, MC Hammer? 
February. What was Wait. the big song from that album? Jesus. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm gonna make a point. So we we go all the way through that. So I picked up a lot of uh, competitors and enemies along the way. Marketing budgets. It, it, at one point, it became the other five labels' marketing budgets versus Hammer and his label marketing Hammer yeah, campaign. Exactly. That's <laughs> that's the point I'm making. So when you say what's the fascination, you got to understand that I took on the entire music business by as one artist. For a half a year. And in other words, literally millions of marketing dollars versus just our marketing budget. And uh, it was, how can we fight the hammer? Was that too legit to quit time? No, no, that came secondly. But uh, that was the tail end of the attack uh, because the first one failed. (laughs) So the first one is like, how do we take on hammer? Oh, okay. At the end of that one. He sold 10 million records just on that album, so they lost that one. So with the Too Legit to Quit album, they started early. So it was like... It's oh, a that little, was a third album. That was a that third was, album. Oh, that, so, was a, that was before the destruction. Too Legit yeah, to Quit was after I'm, the destruction. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. I, yes. I, know, I know where you're going. What was the hit off the second album? That's where we're all lost. That was Can't Touch This. Uh, no, the, the, no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it was. Second yeah. album was Can't Touch yeah. This. What's the hit yeah. off the first, first album? First album sold three million. Turn his, turn his mother out. Let's get it started. Ring them. They put me in a mix. All the records came on my first... I had... Six known records off my first album and five videos. So, you know, so when you ask what is it, it, uh, it, it it's a lot. It's it's a lot. When you, if you just put on a hammer mix right now, you're going to go through twenty songs that people actually know. Mm-hmm. One just is you know so far above the others, but there's twenty songs that I do in concert. My song Adam's Groove. From the Adams Family Holy movie. Holy mother of Jesus. Oh, I forgot about that one. Oh, yeah. Just, oh, that, damn, just right? that oh, song. My, I forgot about <laughs> that monster. Damn. That one, <laughs> that one itself sold, and I quote, four million singles. Just that one. Jeez. Just that song. Wow. And that's off the too legit to Did quit. Did you see his first video? The one that was shot. The one that put him on the on know, the on the. <laughs> yeah. It yeah. was a. It was but shot what song? like a. Uh, I think Turner's mother. No. What too legit? What, off the one this that album? was shot looked like a looked like it was shot like an unfinished construction site kind of thing. It was real raw. The uh, one where you you three uh, uh, Oak Town three five seven. Oh, that's off the first so, album. It, it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, I forgot, but it was. It put him on the map. It was so, like so. So just to put that in perspective, keep in mind this all began in uh, or began uh, in eighty yeah. eight. So that's the other thing yeah. that you have to yeah. understand. From eighty eight till ninety five, my last hit of that run was seven years later, which was my worst album. It only sold like 1.8 million. So it was, it was a real bad time well, for me. In the exactly. They, they said with that one, he's definitely finished because he's only sold about a million, seven million, uh, eight. You should have sold was, thongs after that. Holy shit. We couldn't, we yeah, couldn't yeah, stop yeah, yeah, the thong. Well, so, so that one I'm saying, uh, <laughs> the two platinum singles off of that one was it's all good and pumps in the bump. So anyway, so, so that's what well, it wait, is. Okay. It's a combination of years and years of hits, um, years and years of touring, million and millions of records and they, and, uh, Can you know, I, fil- from, uh, what? affiliated with movies and a whole lot of stuff. I want you to back up for a second. When when you're on the level you were and you sell 1.8 million, they look at that as like a, a failure almost, right? Like like it was a bust. Yeah, yeah but they can't. Which is insane. It. I'm saying, but you know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm from the inside uh, out, not outside in. So, I'll, but you're right. You're right. They say, hey, for you. What do you mean for me? Your record right next to mine, same yeah, yeah. store. What you mean? You we here they for come. For you, MC Hammer, it's another hit, yeah. obviously. Yeah, my One saying point million of anything is is unbelievable. But but when you're on the level you were at, they're like, oh, it was a flop. See, yeah, he's done. Yeah, well, you you can't fool me after, with that. You're How done many after selling One point eight million. That's ridiculous. Right, right. Well, and I knew that at that time because I'm you know I I know that. I mean, right. You, your record is this is the this is the argument I always have with anybody. Wait a minute, did you make a record at the same time I made one? Okay, did you put yours in the same stores? You did. Oh, same aisle? So they came in, and here's the acid test. When they went in their wallet, they brought their money out and said, I'll take one of those. And yours that you classified as all different type of nomenclatures you put on it to justify it not selling. It's like, oh, no, this here over here, this is what you call classic right here. Oh, uh, this this right here is uh, 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 real unique. We're giving it to them raw. Whatever it is, it means it don't sell. That's what it means. <laughs> when that money come out that wallet, they say, I'll take this home. And, I, and, and this, you know, it resonates with my family with me and we enjoy it. So those kind of battles that I fought early on, also contribute to my longevity in the long run. So, 
Uh, the mm-hmm. other thing I want to mention, when you first started, too, you were selling your own records out of the hood of your uh, car, right? A yeah. Trunk. Uh, 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 the uh, trunk. Uh, the uh, trunk. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Want a spark plug or a CD? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This yeah, whole room yeah, hasn't yeah. slept. We yeah, all uh, yeah. stayed up all night. We had things last night. But, yeah, yeah out of the trunk yeah. of your car, you were yeah. selling your own albums. Yeah, I, I started off selling the records out of the trunk. Um, I went to all the music events. So uh, even two years before that, uh, I came here to New York uh, in 1986, went to the Latin quarters where all the rappers were, you know, doing their thing. And I, you know, I, I announced myself as I'm, I'm next, man, I'm next. And of course, you know, it was like, yeah, right. You know, and so that's that that led to the Turn This Mother Out song when I said, you know, man, I'm, I'm getting some momentum here. I'm hitting in Cleveland. I'm hitting in Detroit. But. Uh, Hammer, you ain't hitting in New York. You know, I wrote that myself because I'm saying I'm not satisfied until I take on New York. And I and I imagine that from from mm-hmm. from the West Coast, from Oakland. But it was your challenge in New York to be here in New Back York. Because I remember I was, you know, I'm, I was 18 when Hammer came out, so I was a, a, essentially adult. And the thing is, it was the it was the visual that got pe- people love mm-hmm. Hammer. He did the Running Man first. He did the the, the, the <laughs> he did a lot of stuff first. Yeah. And I'm telling you, the visual with the with the hook, I'm, it was Hamill. I'm t- he was a phenomenon back then. I'm telling. I'm, oh I'm, yeah, you ain't got to tell me. I, I remember, mean, it's yeah. amazing. But let me ask you: Was you if you come out with something else? If, are you retired from music? Are you kidding me? The melodies never stop. So I'm, I'm only saying. Are you yeah. gonna have to dance? Uh, are you gonna dance though? I, I, you gotta I, be. I, what are you? Seventy uh, six. I'm about to swing on him. I'm about to swing on him. I'm going to swing on him. Hold on. I'm just saying, I'm, 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 I'm cold with these. Good, I'm, I'm you cold. Didn't, you didn't comment on how good the skin looking, man. Uh, I'm uh, some uh, uh, man. The hammer's in good shape, shape. man. Uh, no, 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 I'm in good shape. Yeah, I mean, he's still in 86. He doesn't look old enough to start in 86. How old are you, Hammer, do you say? No, I do, of course. I'm proud. I'm 47. Yeah, I'm very proud because, you know, it ain't no... 22, 24 years old, 25 year olds who do what we do, the music business. They they not in this kind of shit. They get drunk, stay high too much. They, <laughs> they can't hit the hip. They can't do it. I, you know, I I I lift eighties for breakfast. I curl eighties for breakfast. You know, uh, 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 so <laughs> yeah. you know. So anyway, I enjoy working out. I enjoy dancing. Um, uh, I just you know I did did a show in uh, Detroit a couple weeks ago. I got uh, uh Thomas and Mack Center in, in Las Vegas. Uh. June twenty five days a uh, weekend. I perform all the time. I and I must say, it's not pathetic. Like you see, you know, you might see an old uh, Tim Chase's reunion. <laughs> <laughs> hey, leave the Tim Chase uh, alone. It's, it's not like Hammer. You did something where you had a fur coat on something. And you just did a little cameo. Uh, that I think was a BT Award. Twenty twenty fifth anniversary. And people get mesmerized. He can't a little fur coat, and he only did a little <laughs> hammering. Yeah, just a little bit. And <laughs> it hammering. wasn't a pathetic. Tape. It was like. You go, holy, mo- T- Hammer still got it. I uh, appreciate Hammer. that. Uh, you know, I love dancing. I do, I do, I do. Well, and people root for you, too. Yeah, like, I people do. just root for it. Dude, people, I'm, I, it's just because, you know, in, in the hood, you just go, you, you know the story. And, you know, the hood talks. Like, I don't know how mm-hmm. white how white people end up in the, in the position they are in terms of fame, like, when you talk. In, in, in per- it's all but, the grand conspiracy. Yeah. You, I don't, you know, like, put it this way. God puts us there. Like the rise and the fall and the rise of Led Zeppelin or something. I'm just right, putting right, the right. word out. Aerosmith's a good one. Everyone yeah, knows they, the hammer, uh, the hammer, uh, the, yeah, the, thing, the thing, the thing, the thing, the thing with hammer. Right, right, so right. it's just interesting, man. And it's like you just go, man, Every you just know what people are saying. Yeah. At a particular time, in a particular way, and you just go that that BET thing. You just go ham and pulled his had his fur coat, and they just went boom, and well, he just did two things. Yeah, well, and people were like God, now, holy now you, shit! Now you got the the TV show. <laughs> what what uh what level of like your life are we going to see here? Is this well, uh, pretty uncensored as far as what what you do? What are we going to be seeing? Well, uh, we introduced a man. So what what I mean by that is uh, there uh, and 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 by the way, any everything that I've said. You know, so far in this interview, none of it was to be self-serving. I, I was just trying to mm-hmm. d- d- describe nah, the scenario, yeah. you know, of, of, of my career and why you you you, uh, you were debating and I was listening on, you know, <laughs> he was famous. You know, I was just trying no, to quantify. But no, I wasn't saying that you weren't famous. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. I was just trying to no, quantify, we got you know, how, how so, so yeah, I, yeah. I think it came across. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, 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 well, I, believe it or not, I hate to my own horn. It's not I my thing. I just like to, pro- I like to perform, you know. But so, so you know, um, on the show. What one of the reasons why I said yes be, is because nobody really knows me outside of 
Absolutely. the music. Yep. And my friends and my business partners have complained for 12 years as if it's my fault. They, they, they'll, <laughs> they'll go in there and they'll say, Hammer, why do you, when you when you go on radio, why do you talk like that? Why, do you, why won't you let them see the business acumen or the man? I said, well... It's not the right place. You, there's not enough time. You know, it's you, you, you. I'm on the next guy's zone. So, with the show, I get to so, show the the father, the uncle, that that I am, the brother, the businessman. Uh, I, I I do a panel at uh, the MIT Stanford Lab. You know, um, uh, you know, in the last two months, right now, uh, I've lectured at Stanford on social media, Harvard on social media. Um, I'm, I'm an early adopter of, of social media platforms. Um, I've been going to Google for the last six, seven years. What's social media, by the way? I don't know. Uh, well, well, I'll, I'll explain. But I'm saying, I so I've been doing these things for <laughs> quite a while. I don't know what um, it is. He's saying words. I don't like uh, how Ham uh, is just. I just like how he shuts yeah, you just, up. I like I how Ham is just shutting we you up. No, no, we can learn from that. But he has a way of just shutting you up. No, I just got to finish my thought. I'm going to finish my thought. I ain't shut the ball. I'm just finishing my thought. So what I'm saying is I got I got a love for technology early on. It was I wanted to figure out how to get my videos on the Internet. So I had to learn this stuff. All right, all right. So social media. Hey, where'd you get your hat? See how that is? There we go. There we go. All we're saying. Is, <laughs> all we're saying is Mr. Hammer was trying to make a point, I'm and he didn't let him get to make his point. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Well, he's on Twitter. Uh, he's a big uh, Twitter guy. Uh, no, see, I like how you try to avoid. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm real fast. I got that. <laughs> I, I got that. I won't, but I won't, I won't. I won't. I won't pull the cover off. All right. What? I, he's a big Twitter guy. Is that bad? So what do I? <laughs> I won't do it to you. I won't do it to you. I won't do it. I won't do it. You know. I, you know. All right. right. I'm. I'm a what big, are you gonna do to him? He knows. He's gonna beat me up. So I'm a big Twitter guy. Yes. I was early adopter of Twitter. Um, I actually. Um, um, uh, the, the founders invited, vi- invited me to come speak on my business idea of monetization of the platform uh, 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 a month ago, uh, which I had actually approached them a year ago to say, here's some things that we'll be able to do in the music business with this platform, ultimately, which include, I have a show at Radio City Music Hall. You should be able to just click here. And that ticket goes right to the All phone, right, to yeah. the emails, done. Right. So the, the the challenge, uh, and what's scary for a lot of business people, unbeknownst to many, is that the distance between creation of content and the consumer has shortened drastically. Oh, so oh, yeah. so you put the music on, you like the song. I start talking about my concert. Um, uh, as of the day, I, I'll use myself, for example. Uh I'm probably at 800,000 followers. So let's just say that 20,000 of them or 50,000 of them are here in New York. I'm only trying to sell 4,000 seats at the Radio uh-huh. City Music Hall. I announce my concert. I sell the tickets all from my phone. We're done. Oh, I didn't buy no commercials. I'm sorry, gentlemen. <laughs> uh, <do that>. yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe yeah, I'll circle yeah. back to that in a few years. Uh, it's like but, iTunes so, cutting the commercial, cutting the record industry out. You're cutting all these middlemen out. It's all and it's done. It's not like it's uh, it's not like maybe it'll happen. Mm-hmm. It's, it's done. It's happening. It's done. Yeah. It's done. The, so the things that we need to do to just finish the transactional things that those those they already exist, and we just move them over and we uh, in, uh, integrate them into the interface. So. That's the kind of stuff that I like to stay on top of because the music industry is very slow to adopt to uh, new new technology, and it kills them, mm-hmm. and I'm a music guy. So if you want, as a business, get in early, I'll do it as an individual. It has, yeah. What, what so I don't know what that got to do with hammer time, but... Well, <laughs> I don't even know how to ask this, but you seem like you're a great businessman. You have a great head on your shoulders. So what happened? The what famous happened? behind the music where we all saw, like, holy shit. Hammer was on top of the world, lost it all, and now obviously has brought it right back up. Well, um, but what happened in that time where, like, you were losing your way? Loyalty. Uh, uh, I would say you, 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 two and things if, that you said earlier. One, you said how big the show is. Right. Well, the show is a business, and mm-hmm. and behind the show is another layer of business. I mean, it, the support team. And behind the music biz, the music, the label, is another support team. So it's real simple. Um, you never heard me on the radio or television or any of the existing mediums complaining about how uh, the rise and fall of MC Hammer, MC Hammer, uh, he's 
pissed it all off. Whatever, yeah. the, however you want, you know. It did and, become and, kind of a. Yeah, yeah. Like a, that's, you were that's like all the we know. Xerox, yeah, right, right. right. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and you never. Well, I, you put, I, that guy pulled a hammer. Right. I, you know? Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and what I did. It came like a. But it's true. It's true. No, but it's true. It's true. What, he was dancing? No, 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 no. So I was very aware of. Right, right. And I just listened and I said, wow. Because there were two chain of thoughts for me. One is that. It's not like you don't really know. It wasn't no secret. Like, everybody knew that I had 200 employees. It wasn't no secret. So what you think? I was paying them in, uh, in, in the hamburgers. So, uh, you know, you know, somebody was paying that payroll and it wasn't falling. Front. So I was doing that. So if you wanted to now say the story is MC Hammer just pissed his money off when you knew that I was employing 200 people from my community. It said more about you than it did about me. So I didn't go on the radio to defend that. That because if you every now and then somebody would say after the sensational part of it, they said, you know, he took care of a lot of people. But anyway, we're going right next to the next commercial. So <laughs> yeah. so I said, wow, this is very interesting to me. So if a guy that, you know, in the middle of the crack era, when everybody was dying, machine guns everywhere, decided he wanted to try to to, to pull some guys out of that. If his fate is to be. The guy who we're going to introduce for the next 14 years oh, is, hey, we're going to talk about MC Hammer next, how he pissed off 30 million. <laughs> Man, that's what you get for trying to contribute to the community. But the guy who might be known for uh, exploiting. Uh, and, of course, we got our man right now with the hottest record in the world coming on next. He says every in the country needs to drop down now and, and suck here. Coming up next, our hero. I said, oh, so. Yeah, I, I need to let them do that, and I'm going somewhere else for a while because that fight I'm not fighting. That's a personal fight. That's your perspective on life, the world, and how you see things. I can't fight that. You got to have what you want. Some people love this. Some mm -hmm. people love that. Never so, heard your perspective on that, that whole I, thing. You so almost I only story, heard other I people's I never did. story. Yeah. I never did. I never did. I, for the first time, nobody. This is the first, <laughs> the first now, time on our stupid show. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm saying I never did it I, I, because I didn't yeah, need yeah. to. I, did I, people I, take advantage of you? People like take advantage of your loyalty, your good nature. They, they didn't take advantage of me because even if, you, as you hear me speak, and not to pat, pat myself on the back, but you can see I'm, I'm a pretty smart guy. Yeah. So I, it's not like you was, you know, doing a shell game in front of me, and I'm, you know, picking the wrong <laughs> piece or something. Molly. Three card Molly. <laughs> no, I, I just mean with 200 people, it's a little, it's a little it easier to hide wild. stuff with that many people. It's yeah. a different. There's it's a, a loyalty, but I also think... It's not loyalty in this case, I, per but, se. Look, but you're it, also on a, a really high level, so when that level started to drop a little bit, it made it tougher to take care of all these people, We just right? talk about revenue generation. It's not real complicated. Are you yeah. making enough money to sustain right. the business? Yeah, yeah. It's not, you know, it's not that... So, but from my perspective, it was loyalty, but it's. Just, I just wanted to do loyalty with the interpretation of it. We were dying. This is the mm. real thing. It's not fake. They, go and look at the murder rate in my city at the time. My city became very famous for being in the top three in homicides. That's where I lived. That's where I grew up my entire life. I didn't grow up somewhere else. Some of the people that were dying were my classmates, my neighbors. So when I had the hammer thing, I would literally call home. I'd be on the road. I'd call home and somebody say, i say, hey, what John doing? What you mean what John doing? John dead. I said, what you mean John is dead? I just talked to him two weeks ago. He said, yeah, John dead, and Sam killed him. I said, well, Sam lived two houses down from, from John killing him? Over what? Well, you know, blah, 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 blah. So I said, well, let me speak Let me speak to Sam then. Hey, Sam, man, check this out, man. Why? Well, blah, blah, blah. I said, well, why don't you come out here on the road with me, man? I can give you 30000 a year. I can't give you what you're making on the block. But, man, I can't have you keep doing what you're doing. I mean, you're killing yeah. the very cats we grew up with. Well, 10 turned to 20, 20 turned to 30. Huh. I'm cool with that. I was, I was cool with that because the amount of money that I was generating was worth the lives to me. Now, in retrospect, for the sake of story, I always say, Hammer, if you had it to do it all over again, wouldn't you? Come on, Hammer, just say you you kept some of that money. I say, yeah, you know, if I had it to do it all over again, I would absolutely, you know, put some of that money in the bank and all that. But the real truth is, not in exchange for the lives that lived, wow. I, I wouldn't do wow. it. Wow. I always knew that I could generate money. Right. I had my first job at eight at nine, it's very documented. You can go to my Twitter right now and pull up a picture of me and Hank Aaron. It says the two hammers finally meet. You know what the date of the I've picture picture. says? 1975. Yeah, I've seen that. In 1975, I was already in my third year of a job. I'm a, I've been an entrepreneur from day one, so I, I'm, not, I'm not ever concerned about generating money, but I got caught up in my humanity. So 
So, mm. Just to summarize, you, this, to summarize, you decided to go down with the ship. Yeah, I, you, you didn't I have made to go down with the ship. I didn't have to. They pulled me. You could have let those guys. You should have told die. thirty guys with shiny pants. Right, right. right. Get out. That is. It's, <laughs> that's probably very Make, true. You see but, that move we did last show? Do that right. Keep going. Yeah, they got, yeah. Yeah. Keep going with that. When we get the running man to the left, just don't come back. Do that tippy toe move to the left and keep doing it. Open the door. Someone open the door for you. Dance left until you hit water. <laughs> hey, keep going, right? <laughs> but I, loyalty. Uh, there's something uh, else that has to be said. Uh, I think you also were, were taking a gamble, too. Like, all right, I see that this thing is, is sinking, but I'm just I'm just one song away from bringing this whole damn thing right back up. As if you were in my brain. Right? I, I absolutely felt that way. I, way I, I, I felt yeah, like... Because yeah. you're way too smart to just watch it No, like, I, I, I actually did think that. The whole time that. you were probably thinking, all right, one more hit, one song, one of this, We go that. right back out on the road. I generate more money, and everything is cool. Well, it didn't happen like that. So that was the difference between, mm -hmm. you know, being able to sustain it long enough for, between hits because I made a decision... That was the craziest thing from a business perspective, probably in the history of touring. When we come off the road, what are you guys going to do? Well, you know, I heard the mumbling. What you mean? What you, what you think we're going to do? We're going to go get some of these keys and get to work. <laughs> Keep it moving. I was like. <laughs> Were you worried? Uh, these guys around you? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, they was around me. But I'm not uh, saying the dudes no, you're worried that, about the, guys. the gangsters that, that you had you. around yeah. you, did that make you a little nervous? Well, no, because. I'm I'm kind of you know you know I, I know how to switch my hats, man. So well, you know, Hammers, it, it, Hammered means something else than we always started. Man. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know, I, I know, I'm, I, I ain't never, I, I never had a problem with that okay. ever, 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 ever. So all right. we all grew up in the, the same way. You ended up with that mentality. I ended up, but I decided not to access it. it the, right. Immediately when I'm angry, it's not my first option. Right. So so so, but I made the decision. You know, I was like, man, you know. When we off the road, no, don't do that because, one, we back in the same hole again. I, I, I ain't got time for these funerals. I'm tired of it. I'm not doing it. So I'm going to keep you all on the payroll even Jesus. when we not on the road. That's so I paid the same amount of money when I was off the road as I did when I was on. It was a very conscious decision, and it was, in hindsight, from, from many perspectives, you would say, man, you shouldn't have did that. And, again, I wrestle with it. Uh, I'm going to wrestle with it for the rest of my life. My conclusion is, nah. I'll take life, and it, and thank God it all turned out okay yeah. from an economic standpoint. But historically, the story will probably never be uh, it'll told away. Be, right, it'll never right, be told right. that way. This will probably be the last time it's told <laughs> that way. But everybody who was there and who know about it know every word that I'm saying it to. You come to my studio, you'll see 60 new cars out there. They all belong to my employees and my dancers. I co-sign for everybody because they go down to the bank, and they couldn't qualify for a car. And I thought that was very insulting. So I would say, you know what, what do you mean they can't? They work for me, they got a job. Well, this is their first bit of credit. Oh, so you want to insult, you want to insult people. Okay, no problem. Send it over to me, I'm co-signing. Well, I ain't up co-signing for 60 cars. Oh. Okay. So I, I was like, but you, I, I want to create a middle class right now among the people who work for me to, sell, to show that we don't only have to hustle hard. We don't only have to sell dope. We don't only have to bring these machine guns to you to make this money. So that was my dilemma. And that's why I ended up going down with the ship because I hope that one more hit, we can keep it going, yeah. but we didn't get to one more hit. So I got the hit. It was called bankruptcy. <laughs> and I, and that's why you never heard me complain. He you, went, I, you, you I, took, I took the hit them, and took the hits. You yeah. took them from zero to 60. That's what the issue is. Like you can't just take somebody from a certain, cause I got friends where I'm like, Hey man, instead of going to Atlanta for whatever you're going to do, Let's save up your money. Let's go to Melbourne, Australia. And it's like, what? what you t so if I just took them to Melbourne, Australia, that would be not smart. Yeah, I would yeah, have yeah. to teach them somehow to want to go to Melbourne. Right. He just he gave them stuff. And, 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 and what, it, what they did is just hammers giving us stuff. I crippled some people. Uh -huh. I did. I did. Some people... Some people I crippled because some guys never wanted to work again. Just became, <laughs> right? Right, yeah, right. No, seriously. Some of my guys were like, like seven years later, five years later after bankruptcy. Hey, what you doing? Shoot, Have wait for you. Yeah, wait for you to get it on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I said, man, come on, you can't be you. you. Man, shoot, we waiting for that next hit. Hey, man, that was you know that was five years ago, dog. And you had to. It's all right, man. I'm all right. I'm a whole on. And well, well, eight years later, 
Yeah. Waiting for that next hammer oh, hit. So man. I crippled some cats. How you much know? pressure did that put on you when you were writing? Because now all of a sudden you're writing to sustain a financial empire instead of just as an artist. Uh, How that's, much? that's well said. Uh, that's well said. So, yeah, at some point. We're really smart, Hammer. Yeah, you guys, you know, you, you should do. <laughs> you guys should actually try to, like, get on the radio or something. Yeah, yeah, these, these mics are you guys, you know, you guys pretty Listen, smart. I, I, as, I, and I didn't mean to cut you off, no. but, the, but you're, it was such a, you know, dead on point statement. Um, it, it all changed because, it, it, as you know, I write from a very joyous, dancing, uh, reflective position. That's the other thing, without digressing too far, for every dance record I made, I made a record dealing with issues. The issue mm-hmm. records are never big as the dance records. But I said we got to pray, help the children. When we living in a world like this, why can't we live together? So I always balanced them all. But at, by the time I got to the funky headhunter, one is I was tired of, Cats who wouldn't want to see the other hammer on no day in their life, under any circumstance, physical, choose your choice of weapons, whatever it is that you you, you engage another man with, you wouldn't want a piece of me under no circumstances. Mm. Making records where they get to say my name or, you know, stuff like that. I, you know, I, I ain't never been that cat. And, and so, you know, uh, uh, I made a record that I wouldn't have normally made mm-hmm. and addressed some of those issues, and I wrote from the perspective of what you just said. One, we need a big hit, and two, I want some heads. Listen, <laughs> I got you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to turn us off in the two minutes. Okay. Okay. We're on a computer, and okay. we want to okay. make sure everyone knows about Hammer Time, which is the reality show you're pushing big time. Uh, this Sunday, 10 p.m. on A&E. And he's learned his lesson because uh, he, he came here with his son. That's it. Uh, right. small I didn't see a hundred guys in the hall. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. Right. They no can, funny haircut, just nothing. the sun. Just him and they, his son. They're going to get here, but they came by mule. <laughs> <laughs> they still walking here from Oakland. They, 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 they get here next, next year. <laughs> they on, God willing, they're on season two yeah. of Hammer Time. And, and, and look, and my, my final plug then, Hammer yes. Time will be Sunday nights, 10 p.m. on Annie. You know what? You sold Very me. I'm going to watch. Oh, Start and win. Start and win. For real. I'm going to watch this. Oh, this Sunday's it. the first show? Or? Yeah, this is the first show this Sunday. Yeah, we'll this Sunday. definitely watch. And Patrice, uh, we're, they're going to shut us yeah, off. Yeah, I know. So. Patrice is in comics, comics tonight, tonight and tomorrow. It's going to be an ending because the computer's going to you know, knock us off. Oh, yeah. It, it happened to me before. They turned my lights off before. That's a different story. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've seen that before. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, everybody get ready. It's going out now. Yeah, pretty much. 40 seconds. So comics tonight and tomorrow for Patrice. And they're telling me that your uh, Twitter name's wrong. It's Big B I G M O M M A P R O D S. Okay, one word. A- and mine is one word. MC Hammer. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. You got MC Hammer. How do you get MC Hammer? You you invest early. <laughs> oh, that's right. He was twitting early. That's right. That's right. Before anyone else could get. It. All right, we're out of here for the weekend, and uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. You. We'll see you. Yeah. Have a good weekend. All right. Bye bye.